or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gems show. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Sorry, can't give away. Isn't Vicky lovely? Isn't our Vicky lovely? Hey, she's fantastic. Uh, right then, you're in trouble because Tom and I are back, as well as our lovely Liam. And uh, just move on, Mike. I hope that doesn't annoy you. Hang on. <laughs> um, we're fueled by a roast dinner and sherry trifle. Roast dinner and sherry trifle. It's very. And then I fell asleep in the back garden. <laughs> as you do. Uh, anyway, um, let me inject. Now, we've got a massive announcement for those of you not on my uh, Facebook page. Massive announcement. Right? We have got, for the first time ever in our nine year history on Jewelry Maker, ever, we have got Rachel Norris on the Late Show. <laughs> Woo! Jewelry maker royalty on the late show. <laughs> Honestly, we were all like, Rachel Norris. She messaged me on Facebook the other day and she went, you know, Am I with you on Sunday? And I went, No, I'm on the late show. She went, I'm there. I went, Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Rachel Norris on the late show. She went, Yeah. I went, Woo! And the jewelry. Oh my word. For a gardener like me, there's a beautiful floral necklace. A gardening necklace. It's got a little trowel and a little garden fork and little snails. It's so cute. And the elephant. Well, Dumbo has just been released, hasn't it? Dumbo. Other films are available. Well, the elephant. Um, now, our lovely director Kerry has taken the most fantastic, fantastic video of said effalump. And uh, it's on Rachel's page. It's on our jewelry maker. Oh, look at that! It, thank you, Tom. It's on our on our Facebook jewelry maker page. It's on my Facebook presenter page. It's on Rachel's guest designer Facebook page. What do I possibly say? I mean, really? What, what, what does one say? <laughs> hey? Can you do an elephant trumpet, Michael? <laughs> No. No. Uh, no. Michael Wolf as well. Now, I have to say, Michael Wolf was on the uh, morning show this morning. He's still here. Can't get rid of him. I was on the morning show. Can't get rid of me. We've got Tom as well. We've got Liam in the uh, producer's chair. Hello, Liam. Hello. Hello. Uh, we've got the lovely Kerry. Uh, she's directoring. And uh, we've got the lovely Tom running around doing everything. And uh, we've got, as I say, Rachel. <laughs> now then, but well. Wow. 
serious piece of kit. I mean, serious piece of kit. Now that we wanted to weigh these, we don't have any scales in the building or at my dad's house that are capable of actually weighing. The scales in the studio have said, no, no, get off, can't cope. They were, they, they, no, the digital scales in the studio, they're just, they're not capable of weighing those. And we don't charge you anything extra. Now these are a limited edition. Now we're going to put them on pre-order. Have you done it, Liam? Have you done it? Have you done it? I'll tell you what we'll do. And this is because, I'll tell you now, Alice and Terry's fault. Alice and Terry begged. These weren't going on pre-order, Rachel. They weren't. Rachel Terry was going to be driving home from the morning show. She said, I cannot not have these. Will you please? She begged Tom this morning. He said, oh, God, a little face, please. So, um, and just to give you the codes, my lovelies, in case you're not online, we have the round 15-inch mandrel. KP, these are brand new. We've never had them before. KPGX39 for the round 15-inch. And for the oval, OZGX39. OK, if you go to the jewelrymaker.com website, Jewelry Maker app, you will see these and it says get them early. Now I've got, I've, now this morning we said there was 100 of each, we got it slightly wrong. There's good news, 149 of each. Half as much again. 149. Now the one thing I did say earlier and, and um, just briefly, I will just check with uh, Rachel. Rachel, you know because of the weight of these, these are going to be perfect to actually hammer onto, aren't they? Oh my they? goodness, you, yes, you use the round one for making bangles. Yep. And the oval one for making cuffs. Brilliant. And they're really, really solid, um, so that you can hammer onto them. Right. And you can hammer with a normal hammer, or you okay. can use a rawhide hammer if you don't want to have marks. And we'll obviously have a little go later on to see what we can, we can we make. We can have a play with them, Rachel. <laughs> Didn't need to ask Rachel twice to have a play with these. So oval for cuff, round for bangle. Bangle, round, oval, cuff. OK? Um, right then, so we'll talk about those later, but they're on pre-order now. Now then, um, oh, I've got a few things I've got to tell you about as well. Now, we'll start with some champagne, because it's Mothering Sunday. Mothering Sunday. I've got to talk to you about some ivory shell pearls coming up in a pear drop. We have got champagne, four mil, beautiful rounds, perfect rounds in a shell pearl, because that's what you get, in a lovely, delicate champagne tone. YPGP60. Now, my producer is in shock at our entry price point. Now, I said to him, let's get some sneaky cheeky deals on. £3.95. Excuse moi No, they're not. We have got shell pearls in champagne tone for a measly, if you don't mind me saying, two pounds and ninety-five pence. Two pounds and ninety-five pence. Now I've got something to show you. Tommy's coming in. Tom's had three helpings of Sunday dinner, didn't you? Two and a half. Three. Two and a half. It Tell you what, turn around. I've still got a full plate. It, it scoffed a lot. It literally hoovered it up. I did warn my dad. I said, You've got a six foot five year old producer. Uh, six foot five foot. Six foot five. Not year old. Six foot five. That's it sometimes. Six foot five. Strapping man coming for dinner. Well, he let us out of the house and home. I've got to show you these. Now, these I've spoken to you about, haven't I, Liam? We had these. Only a matter of weeks ago, in Peacock, in a kit. And it sold the kit out in less than less time than I'm willing to admit to. This time we've got them in ivory. These are a pear shaped in a lovely puffy uh, size. And as I said, if you manage to get, I mean, who's, who'd have ever thought we'd have managed to bring you shell pearls in that shape? They are gorgeous. Gorgeous. And as I said, if you manage to get the peacock ones, they sold out in a kit. And I had the, I think I had about 37, if I remember correctly, out of a kit. Again, poof, gone. If I, just poof, gone. So those are coming up for you. 6.30, Liam? Yeah, why not? Can I just show you? No. These ones here. Let me just show you how you can raise the value visually, immediately, with red agate. You just add in some shell pearl. 
just add in some beautiful shell pearls. What I love about agate is how affordable it is. Now, it's one thing taking shell pearls to 2 95 but a 10 mil genuine gemstone. It's just lovely. Now, let me show you with my top, because you might think, oh, I don't know. Red agate looks amazing. Let me show you now, look. See, now that'll brighten up any outfit. Well, I've still got my diamond on. I'll take that off in a minute. It's because I went to a party last night and I stopped at my dad's and I thought, I'm not leaving my diamond necklace at my dad's. He'll lose it. I need to take it home, so I'll take that off in a minute. Yeah, beautiful red agate, £2.95. Genuine. Let me just take those off. Sorry, just bear with me. Don't let me forget my diamond, Michael. OK. It's my diamond, Michael. It's my diamond necklace, Michael. I can't be losing that, Michael. Don't let me forget, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's a red agate, gorgeous red agate. Oh, I tell you what, I've got something. I've got something to show you. I've got something to show you now. These. Ooh, look at these coming up. Ooh, what are we doing those, Liam? I like those. They're an agate of some form, I take it, or a jasper. Oh, is it? Oh, crazy lace, nice. It goes, goes lovely with the red agate, isn't it? These are genuine gemstones, but, you know, £2.90. I mean, I've just taken a bottle of white wine to my dad's. A bottle of white wine that I took to my dad's was £7. £7, what? Have I been drinking? Yeah. Yeah. No. No, because we were both driving, thank you very much. We had to say no, but I took it as a gift. Well, the thing is, the thing is, when you, I've been taught when you go to somebody's house for dinner, you take a bottle of wine. Tom obviously hasn't been taught that. Turned up with nothing. And, do you want to tell him what you tried to do, Tom? Do you want to tell you, do you want to tell everybody what you did? He left the handbrake off his car. And, try, and tried to run his car into the, uh, one of our guests that was parked outside the house. Oh. <laughs> so not only did he rock up with no chocolates, no flowers, no bottle of wine for the host, he tried to um, smash his car into the guest. It's not, it's not helpful. So, crazy lace agate. And, oh, just, oh, to, can I mention something to you tonight? I did put it on my Facebook page, but those of you that aren't friends with me on Facebook, we are mixing it up a bit because tonight, Rachel will be doing her demos and her kits in the 7 o'clock and the 8 o'clock hour for a difference, for a change. We're mixing it up. Oh, yeah? So, 7 o'clock. And 8 o'clock, you're going to get demos and kits with Rachel Norris. That's what you're going to get. Woohoo! Now, I don't know about you, I think those would be going with the champagne shell pearls. Right then. I'm just going to mention. For those of you struggling to get the mandrels, the, the brand new mandrels, we've popped the codes at the bottom of the screen. At the moment, could you call the call centre? Because for some reason, I think Tom's having a look at it, is he? Trying to work out why it's not showing up online, the pre-order, because they're due to be on 8 o'clock. Um, but in the meantime, you can ring the call centre. OK, so give the call centre a ring on 0800 644 655, and if we can fix it, we will. Sorry about that. Frustrating. It's frustrating. Right, crazy lace agate, four ninety-five. Can I hold those out? Can we have a little scoot along, team? Because crazy lace agate, super unisex strand. In these, let me just separate them so you can see what they look like. It's hot. There you go. That's what the tubes look like. They are four by thirteen mil. Good size. It's drill hole. So if I can show you there, look. Nicely follow Kerry and Michael. That's, that's it's Kerry and Michael. And it's Kerry. Don't you be doing Kerry out of a job. Kerry's not there. Oh, not? Although he has a very feminine voice. <laughs> Who's that? Who's on there? Oh, hello, Tom. Tom. I couldn't hear you. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> it's Tom. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right then, so those of you with it in your basket, you know who you are. There is... Oh, now then. I don't know whether you know this. If you buy something with us today, today, you just buy anything, no minimum spend, right? We will send you a flyer with your order. And on that flyer, there will be a discount code, which is redeemable up until the 18th of April. And basically, we're going to give you £10 off a £40 spend. It is amazing. It is amazing. 
Now, um, a lot of you having twos and threes there. Good for you, Lisa. Hello, Lisa in Wiltshire. Loving you. Carol, collectors, Christine, Shara, Sheila, Janet, Debbie, Jonathan. Oh, hello, Jonathan. Christine, collectors coming in. It's a great deal. It's a fiver. Sorry, Tom. Thank you for standing in, Tom. Kerry's back. Kerry is back. Um, yeah, beautiful. To be fair, I was complimenting you, Kerry, so just take it. I was complimenting her. But what I didn't, re didn't realise, she'd, she'd, she'd gone somewhere. I don't know where she went. Um, she's, gone to, she's gone to do their job for them. We women have so much. We need more hands and more arms, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so then, hello, Jonathan. Jonathan's had two. Jonathan has had two. Which one, sorry? Oh, is it Terra Jasper? Ooh, nice. Mm hmm, hmm. We have got royal blue. Royal blue. Ooh, ooh. Terra Jasper. Bye, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kerry. <laughs> Tom was just leaving the studio. I got him mixed up in it. I went, Bye, Kerry. Uh, yeah, he's tried to leave about four times today, is that Tom? Uh, 12 95 is, um, it's not your price. It's not your price. Basically, you know that fiver that we've just took the uh, Crazy Lace Sack Eight Tubes to? We're going to discount that value by a fiver. Okay? I just love these. I love... Do you remember... Was it the BBC? Other programme channels are available. When they used to um, have like, the Planet Earth spinning, didn't they, as their holding page? Yeah. Yes. What's the BBC? Wasn't it, Rachel? Yes, it was. Yes, it, it was, was yes, it? Yeah, the ago, BB, it was, that. wasn't it? It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, and do you remember when the telly used to go off? It used to actually go off overnight, didn't it? And there was no screens? Yeah, yeah Tess Card with the girl with that really with freaky clown. With that dress. Oh, I my gosh, yeah. That's about it. When the telly used to go off, Kerry? The telly used to go off? Oh, yeah, the telly went off, didn't it? There was nothing overnight. If you couldn't <laughs> sleep at night or you worked night, you'd have it. There were no telly. Yeah, read a book, have a chat. See facts. <laughs> facts. Oh, that was funny. Seven pounds ninety-five. Mind you, I went to this surprise fortieth birthday party. I'll tell you what, the people there hadn't got a telly. There's that many kids. I'm like, seriously, have you lot? What have you lot? Seriously, not got a telly? They were busy. There was kids everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind, I was talking to my friend's mum, and I said, are they not going to tell you these people? She went, well, I've had seven kids. I went, well, you're, the, you're as bad. <laughs> seven kids. Oh, goodness. <laughs> seven children, how do you name them? I'm one of six. You're one of six? Mm -hmm. Well, your mum and dad will have a chat with themselves as well, then. Eleven children at your school in one family. Can you imagine, can you imagine peeling the spuds at dinner time? No. Oof. Dear me. Oh dear. Sit. I mean, you know, good for them. Good for them. It's a mind you me, I'm saying that. My cousin's had seven kids. I mean, mind chatting. He's had seven. Seven kids. Oh. Uh, yeah, now we've got, now I have to say, um, for me personally, if you manage to get either, oh gosh, they're great. These are, Liam. Where'd you find these? Ooh, great. Now, I'd either put those with those beautiful crazy lace agate tubes or I'm thinking with the red agate, gonna go lovely. Or I'm thinking with the champagne shell pearls. Actually, that could be a lovely kit together, couldn't it? Mmm. Yes, it would. Wouldn't it? But yeah. Yeah, it was. I still can't quite believe it's like I've got an apparition of Rachel Norris <laughs> in the studio. I've got Rachel Norris. I keep <laughs> taking a second glance. Like, have I got Rachel Norris on the late show? I've got Rachel Norris on the late show. I can't believe me, look. I can't have it. And I am lucky, Rachel, because it wasn't supposed to be my show tonight. You were supposed to be on with Lucy. Well, I, well I, th I think it was all Sorry. swapped. Everyone, everyone was swapped about. Yeah, we have all swapped about <laughs> today, haven't we? So it's absolute <laughs> luck I've got you today. Total luck that I've got Rachel. I'm very excited. Uh, so, uh, beautiful faceted rondelles. GVIU94. Sharon is in Essex. Sharon has got her name in capitals for some reason. 
Sharon's very excited, I think. Sharon! That's my guilty pleasure, Sharon. Towie. I'll be honest, it's my guilty pleasure, the only way is Essex. Set off to you Because she's in Essex. Keep oh, up, Michael. Sorry. She's in Essex, I said. Oh. I did say, to be honest, didn't I? I did. 6 90 out of 5. Well done. Mm. Oh, oh, I've got these. I've got these. These are, these are, I don't use this word very often because I think at 48 and because of the very nature of who I am, I don't think I can actually get away with using this word very often, but these are cool. These are cool. 25 of the overmandrels. Have we, have, is it showing us, can you buy online yet? Is Tom looking into it for us? Senior producer. I love these. Because for me, these, these druses have got this lovely sort of matte silver finish. And then, you see, look, faceted matte. And then you've got those moments of real... Let me go, look. Hang on a second, I'll get there in a minute. I'm just going to show you. Let me just pick one. Well, there you go. I'm going to pick one just to show you. You've got that matte silver finish. And then you've got glitter, 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 look. Aren't they ace? So you've got matte and then shiny. See, look. What exciting. Isn't it? It looks like a snake. It'd be like a snake and do a snake's head. It's beautiful. Can you imagine? Yes. Gosh, that's marvellous. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my word. I love it. They make me think of the, of the Death the Star glitter. in Star Wars. That's what I'd imagine. Because yeah. I think the Death Star's got to have glitter in it. That's what I think. What do I feel with glitter? I've never seen anything like that, actually. Isn't it unusual? Yes, it is. Because druses, we expected to be... I'm not, well, not being rude, but all of our druses are quite, quite loud, quite garishy colours, aren't they? Um, but the, with that, but that texture of the, mm, marking, the amazing mm. markings on them. Wow. <laughs> I've got Rachel Morris on the late show. I was going to say, there's Rachel Morris on the late show. It's unbelievable. £4.95p. Now, everybody's asking about these ivory shell puffy pears. They are brand new. They are coming up in less than five minutes. All right? Less than five minutes. Have you just broken the graphics, Liam? With this, there's so much demand for these uh, bracelet mandrels. So, we knew it would be. We, we knew they would be, the oval and the, and the round mandrels. We knew this would happen. And we think it's... it's, um, it's uh, you've, you've, Crash the system. Crash the system. But we oh, think we've got it back know. now. We think we've got it back now. Four ninety-five. Four ninety-five. Now then, Jan is in the Isle of Man. Hi, ah, Jan's in the Isle of Man. It rhymes. Oh. Swim in Somerset. Karen in Kent. Uh, Babs has just come in. Liz has got them. Julian's got them. And Joe has got them. Jan has got them. She's in the. Oh, I've never been to the Isle of Man. Have you, Michael? No. No. Have you, Rachel? No. No. Quite fancy going to the Isle of Man. No. Place. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? Have you been, Liam? Oh, the, Kerry? Oh, no, this is Tom? No. no. Not as bad as that. <laughs> How many of us and not one of us have been to where Jan lives? That's rubbish, isn't it? That's not good, is it? I'm thinking of going to the Isle of Wight this year to a scooter rally, if that helps. Isle of Wight's an Isle of somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. We're <laughs> all right, you haven't been there. <laughs> Oh, I've just thrown things all over the floor. I'll get them. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, you are. Oh, sorry, exciting Rachel. Exciting notes. Exciting notes of throwing things at you, my love. Thank you, darling. Ooh, that's handy, isn't that's it? That's all right. Talents, the talents of Rachel Norris. I dropped some. She picks it up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right then. I've got the perfect thing to go with those. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. What do you reckon? Perfecto Mundo, dude. As the old Ninja Turtle said. Light colour, freeform, druzy agate with the druzy. Uh... It looks like those oyster shells. You it does, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I pearls. was just teasing you. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That is lovely. 
Isn't Mother Nature amazing? She's mom. Well, we're on Mother's Day. It's a mothering Sunday. Mother Nature. It's all about her, really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The ultimate mother, isn't it? She is the ultimate oracle mother, Mother Nature. She'd be the best person to invite to, for your dinner, to your dinner. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? When you have that, who would you have around your dinner time if you could pass them present? Mother Nature every time. Have a right chat with her. What are you laughing at, Michael? What are you laughing at, Michael? What, what's funny about Mother... What's funny about that, Michael? <laughs> well, you think it's fine, so I'm think Are oh, you? What about that? What do you mean nobody can hear you? You actually, yes, we can. I love that. Nobody can hear me. <laughs> no, nothing, no, nobody can hear me. Yes, they can. <laughs> yes, they can, actually. I think he's delirious. He spent too many hours with me today. <laughs> oh dear. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I'll tell you what, these with the. Um... Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you these with the cherry jasper. <gasps> oh, I'm going to. No. Ah, shit, they're going on. They just. You know, when you get that strength, you just want to want it on. I want to wear it. Can I wear it now, Mum? No. Can I wear it now? You're not going to tell me they're natural. They died, surely. They've got to be dyed. They've got to be dyed, that colour. No way! Are they seriously natural? No! Oh my... Oh my... Giddy aunt! My, to be fair, my, I don't know where that saying comes from, but my aunt... My aunt is generally giddy most of the time. Mm, yeah. Don't go round after all three in the afternoon, you've got no chance of making any sense out of her. Uh, now then, if I may... I'm going to show you, that's what I'll be doing. Royal Blue Terra Jasper, smooth, faceted, natural lapis lazuli. Yeah. Now, the reason that... Do you, do you agree with me, Rachel? There's no way you think they were natural, lovely. Because they're so... So deep. Bright, so yeah? perfectly blue. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I just want some copper bars coming out from mm. that. And just a Cleopatra style. Exactly. Go full out. Mm. Full on flamboyance. <laughs> No apology, no, um, it's a different look at me, isn't it? Centre of attention, look at me. Yeah, you know, because that is an unapologetic blue, isn't it? That is one really in your face blue lapis lazuli. And have you noticed the reason it's so twinkle, 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 diamond faceted, no less, because you know the reason we pop this in for 11.95 is because tomorrow morning when you wake up, it'll be diamond day. Because it's the 1st of April. So we thought, let's kick-start the Diamond Day, the 1st of April, Diamond Birthstone, with a diamond-faceted natural lapis lazuli. Just get you all uh, wet your appetite. Michael, you look as though you're, you're thinking and it looks painful. Are you all right? I was wondering if you had, um, like, a dinner and you had Mother Nature come over and mm. dine with you. Yeah. What would you ask her? What would I ask what Mother Nature? Would you, what would well, what you wouldn't you ask her? I'd ask her about gemstones for a start. Is there anything specific you'd ask her about gemstones? Don't try and be funny. I'm not. I'm Wouldn't you? I don't, would she not think? He thinks it's hilarious. I'd invite Mother Nature to dinner. I don't know. I think she'd be ace. I think she'd be yeah. absolutely wicked to talk to. Well, all those caverns are deep underground. I, I'd like us to point out a few of them that we yeah, can go and have yeah. a look at. Well, Tell so. us where there's some <laughs> discovered yeah. mines, please. Well, that's a very good point. Right? Rachel's not daft, is she? Rachel's like, um... Well, the nature, could you show us where there's some really nice deposits of some of the rarest gemstones on the planet, please? And she'd be like, OK. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yeah. Well, there's some planets where it rains di diamonds. Yeah. It's time and dust. So mm -hmm. it's a bit too far for us to go to, mm. but they, they yeah. do. So, uh -huh. yeah, they think there's some planets that are even made with a core of... With, with Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh! Oh, stop. Uh, 11.95, <laughs> those are 8 mil rounds. Now then, hang on a second. We have got baskets working, haven't we? Because there's loads of people. If you, if you leave it in your basket, you can do. But unless you go through the checkout at the supermarket, you can't take the goods home, can you? You can't take your carrots and your, I don't know, aubergine, or whatever you picked up. <laughs> home. Can of beans. Can't, can you? Do you know what I'm going to do as well when I get home tonight? I've left me heating off. And I think oh. when I get home tonight, it's going to be a bit be, cold. Well, might, the sun might have come through the windows. Do you think? warmed up the house a bit. It's been a bit so, warm today. I don't, so. I don't want to get into a cold bed, Rachel. We've got no central heating. Our arga's off. And, oh, um, no. 
Our dishwasher's broken. Oh, it's like no. Why's your argument? Oh, my God. The, um, my husband forgot to order the oil. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, so oh, the boiler's off and the argus off. So, oh. yeah. We've actually managed to cook on our wood burning stove, which is great. Oh, that's so handy then. cook on it. So. Oh, great. Yes. I love an arga. Oh, I love an arga. Oh, I love an arga. Um, right then, my lovelies. Oh, now I did show you these earlier. I did show you these earlier. Just remember, when I had them in a kit previously in the peacock, poof, gone. I had 37 out of a kit, poof, gone. These are the ivory. Lovely star buy. Hello, my lovelies. Happy Mothering Sunday. You, it's a lovely day, isn't it? It's just a nice day to celebrate people, mm. mummies. I've seen a lot of people putting them um, saying, I'm a fur baby mummy for the doggies. Yeah, I get it. Um, now then, ooh, these are so lovely. These are so lovely. These have never been on our screens before, don't you know? Fact, days I've got to go straight on as well. I just want to put everything on today, don't I? Oh. Lovely. Who'd have ever thought we'd do shell pearls in these? Oh, yes, Rachel. Really. Shell pearls mm. in these beautiful pear Pear-drop. drops. Oh, yes. Aren't they lovely? Oh. Absolutely. Mm. I think these would go really nice with those um, diamond faceted lapis lazuli like we've just had, actually. Now then, I'll show you with the, somebody asked me to show them, I think I remember earlier, with the champagne pearls, which is a quite a nice supple contrast actually. Say, so it doesn't it, hmm, would you say contrast or blend? I think blend. But you? I think that Kerry's just said, you should carry my direction. She said, I think they look really nice together. And I agree. I really do. I think they look so, so pretty together. Mm. Now these are brand new. They are 18 by 12 mils, 18 mil drop up to 12 mil across at the widest part. And they're, um, if I put those down just to show you what. They're so versatile. They are, aren't they? they? Literally, you can use them for rings, for lit ear, drop earrings. You've got um, the capability of doing um, a teardrop um, statement yeah. necklace. Um, Independent pendants. Yes. Uh, yeah, know. and you can cabbage, almost cabbage shops yeah. set them into things. Exactly. I mean, they're so versatile. And you've got a pearl, pearlescent surface. Mm. Yes. Petals of flowers. Gosh, egg, yeah. As you so say, versatile. limitless. You can literally have 15 strands and make yeah. 50 different types yeah. of design. Oh, no. you know. It's just lovely, isn't it? And do you know what? That's what, the, what you can always tell when a guest designer is excited about it. Because, like Rachel, I can't stop smiling. Because straight away they're thinking, oh, yeah, hang on, you can do this and you go. And, yes. and, and, and you just, it's mm. just a joy, isn't it? Mm. Having a strand like that. Yeah. Um, if you'd have that in the kit, yeah. you'd have all these wonderful Well, when we had the peacock variety in the kit, mm. the kit sold out in minutes. Oh, yes. Completely sold out. Would, yes. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Now then, I had 80. I'm actually already, those, are, those graphics have only been in a few seconds, haven't they? Now already, because of every multi, every, I mean, Anila's had four, hello darling, Anila's had four, Bev's had three, Sandra's had two, Jackie's had two, Liz has had, hello Liz, has had two. Uh, I'm already approaching half the stock gone, okay? I only started with 80, half the stock has gone practically, okay? Jan, well done as well, Terry, good luck, Shona, Susanna, collectors coming on those, 14.95. Ivory shell pearl, puffy pears. Okay, let me say something. Now, now, Liam, 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 Liam's new. How long have you been with us, Liam? <laughs> Up three weeks. Hang on a minute, just bear with me. How many shows have you done, producing wise? Maybe five. Do you know what I think you need to do, my friend? <laughs> Do you know what I think you need to do? <laughs> He's going, what? What? <laughs> going I nervous. think, as it's Mother's Day, you should, um, mm. you should do something a bit more special than that. Liam, I think you need to win some friends and influence people, Liam. 14.95, okay, Grant, yeah? Okay, and to be fair, everybody's checked out mm. by Jacqueline. Don't want to name names, Jacqueline, but hurry up. <laughs> um, now then, Jacqueline, if we took a third off the price, as it's Mothering Sunday, we use any excuse, let's face it. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're wanton. 
in our abandonment of rules and prices. And I just think, Liam, you are the newest boy. And the newest boy wants to fit in, doesn't he? You want them to like you. It's always a good idea, Liam. And there's a way that we like you, Liam. We'll be honest. We might as well be honest, mightn't we, Rachel? We mm. might as well be honest with him. Win friends and influence Win people. friends and influence people by taking the price down. 33% saving on these. Now, the good news is, mm. bearing in mind, yeah, Bev, you can have five. I don't blame you, love. Um, those of you that have already checked out, all of you pay the lower price. Now, you all checked out when it was 14 95 and you were happy to do so, I believe. Oh, no, 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 no. We've just taken them under £10. Now then, I, we have priced those to go. They are brand new. We've never had them on before. Somebody said, I'm me, got Zane. Well, let's have a look. Liam, I must just say, I'm sorry that you um, well pressurised you then. Well done, eh? <laughs> it's all right, Zane. He said, I've heard I've got to get used to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ooh, 23. I didn't expect there to be 23 on there. Wow, that means we've taken each one of those beautiful shell pearls. I mean, a shell pearl, this is how we normally see a shell pearl. This is what we expect to see, a shell pearl in a round. I think prior to these, every other shell pearl, almost without exception, tends to be a round, doesn't it, of, of various yes, gauges? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen um, no. faceted rounds. That's the only other... Yeah, and the only other one yeah. th that we've started to do recently is the Those lovely cross... textured shell pearls, yeah. which are beautiful. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, but not a shape. Oh, no. Lovely. Not a shape. And a shape like these are just gorgeous. Now, we knew... Didn't I tell you these would sell out? I did. I warned you, my darling. Okay. We have less than 15. Okay, 65 have gone. I've got less than 15. I knew these would go. We've got to try it. In fact, we'll send an email, shall we, to the buying team and see if we can get some more in for you. They are so popular. Now, if they're popular with you, think about what happens if you gift or sell your jewellery. Because if you like them and you're checking them out every time and it's an instant seller every single time they've been on and it's a brand new shape to us. As I said, I've only seen them in the, pay, in the peacock before. What do you think that's going to do if you try and sell your jewellery? Now then, just a heads up. Jacqueline, Mary, Maureen, Linda, Bertha in Colorado. Lynn, Lorraine, Cecilia, Elizabeth, Linda, Patsy, Helen. Okay, now if you don't check out, in the next few seconds, you are going to miss out. I don't mean to sound, you know, I don't mean to, I, don't, I really don't mean to sound bossy. Apparently I am bossy. Silence. Did you see that then? Not one of them went, no you're not. Understatement of the century. Understatement of the century. <laughs> I'm nice bossy though. Yeah, I'm a good yeah, intentional yeah. bossy. Yeah, 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 we'll go with yeah, that. Yeah. Advisory capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, can everybody hear me? <laughs> Linda, Jonathan, Helen, Cecilia, Lynn, Bertha, Linda, Maureen, Mary, Jack. I don't have that many left. I'm just saying. Now, Liam, how many exactly are left? Well, hang on though. Francoise has just had them, Jessie's just had them, and Lynn's just had them. So that... And Brenda's just coming on the phone, so that's nine left now, is it? Nine. Okay, nine left. Okay, nine. Nine? Yeah, I'll keep going through, keep going through where? <laughs> Don't we say some funny things on shopping telly? Keep going through, keep going through where? <laughs> it's not where. Where am I going through? <laughs> through, the, through the wardrobe to Narnia. Now then, we are in the midst. Well, actually, we're not in the midst anymore. We're in the tail end. Of the wild work weekend, hence, I mean, talk about finishing with a bang. Rachel Norris on the late show. We mentioned it. Rachel Norris is on the late show. Rachel Norris. Um, so, we're going to give you some wire. Which dark blue? Ooh, you sexy. You've got that song in my head now, haven't you? You've been singing that sexy. Do, 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 do. What? No. Yes, you have. No, I have not. What song did you sing this morning then? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, got the wrong sexy song. Sexy song. Okay, we've got dark blue. Now, if you got the Terra Jasper, mm -mm 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 -mm. if you got the diamond faceted Lapis Lazuli, how lovely to actually either make the findings to do up said jewellery out of them. I mean, imagine making 
because um oh i'm just gonna check yeah good news you've got 0.6 mil which is ideal 0.6 mil is ideal for your earring findings superb you've got that you've got 10 meters of 0.6 you got the 0.4 mil and you've got the 1 mil. Now, when I say you've got the 0.4 mil, can I just draw your attention to the fact that 50 metres, no less. 50 metres if you're wrapping 0.4. And we saw lovely Alison Terry on the morning show today doing a little bit of gizmo in. Yeah, so uh, got that today. 50 metres of 0.4, whopping great big 10 metres of 1 mil and your 10 metres of your 0.6. We haven't mentioned it in the graphics, but you are actually getting 70 metres of wire. Are you all right down there, Poppet? Yeah, I've lost a bit. I'm going to make something quickly. I'll be fine. Rachel, <laughs> we can give you some time, my darling. I'm not surprised she's lost a bit. She's bought the whole, everything by the kitchen sink with her. <laughs> Honestly, I, thought she, I think she's moving in. Oh, don't. Honestly, the amount of bags she's bought with it. I think she's moving in. I don't think she's told anybody. I think she's moving in. You haven't fell out with your husband, have you? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good response, isn't it? Yeah, Not exactly. yet. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, 14.95 for 70 metres. Okay. Would you like to see your Nordic? Because that's a bundle deal. Liam's now getting a little bit of a feel for the Win Friends and Influence people. He's, he's realised that it, he, might be, uh, he might become immediately popular. Ready? Bernie Molinilla's bought three, so she needs a good deal. Thank you. There you go. We've just saved you £6 per bundle. So we've just taken 50 metres of 0.4 mil to £2.99 each. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not bad, is it? 50 metres, Michael. A it's a whopping length. It is. It is indeed. So, dark blue wire, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 1 mil. Okay? Including 1 mil, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. Dark blue, beautiful coloured, coloured wire. Really lovely tone. Really, really pretty. Now, if you are a brand new... Oh, Rachel. I just found it. it, was, it's a, You've got it, you that see, wire in there, Rachel. Yes, you just twist it with other colours, you see, and it makes it beautiful. Well, Rachel, Alison Terry, yeah. was, we were talking about you this morning. <laughs> I hope you, your ears should have been burning, my lovely. We talked about, because we had um, a three-pack of artistic wire with a black, mm. a neutral and an antique. I do, and, yes. And Alison Terry was raving about the way that you twist different mm -hmm. colours of wire together yes. and the effect that you have. Yes, I mean, it completely and that's it. takes it from being a block of colour into something really sophisticated. Doesn't it just? And so you twist it with... And the antique bronze or yep. turquoise or a different colour, and you can just and have it, that look, yeah. and it looks like almost a gemstone. And you follow it around with maybe the gemstones that yeah. flow with it's it. And then and that's the front of the bracelet. Look at that, stunning. But like, like as Rachel says, there, what a different depth and what a different. I mean, it totally changes so the look, that, doesn't it? It's that navy blue mm. in the turquoise yeah. and the antique bronze, and it's. Yeah. That's, yeah, mm -hmm. that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, now then, Cheryl, Annette, Arlene, Collector, Bertha. What time is it in Colorado, Bertha? What time? My stepdad's in Nashville at the minute. He rang me yesterday from Nashville. He said, it's so busy. I said, what do you expect? It's Nashville. <laughs> what do you expect? He said, I didn't expect it to be this busy. I said, is it? He went, yeah. Wow, Rachel. Thank you, Thank darling. You, beautiful. Are. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Uh, right then, would you want some more bundles? Yeah. Oh, actually, that, wouldn't that look nice? She's gone, oh, that look nice together. Oh, yeah. I think you're right, Michael, you know. I'll just show you that because. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Imagine <sighs> blue and gold. Because um, you think of, uh, straight away, blue and gold, I think of the Toot and Car Moon, Death Max Mask. Mm. I've seen that, it's absolutely amazing. Have you seen yeah, it like up close it. and personal? Yes, I went to Cairo no. years and years ago on my honeymoon and there it was. Oh, it is amazing. just outstanding. I'd love to see that. Beautiful. Yes. Cairo wow. is very hot, but um, it was worth it just to go oh, there. Wow. And oh, wow. Oh, I'd this love amazing to see thing. that. Yes, the colours are so vivid after thousands and thousands and thousands of years. They're oh, just yeah. beautiful. Oh, I'd love to see that. My dad wears an eye mask when he goes to sleep, but it's not quite the same <laughs> thing, to be honest. <laughs> uh, bless him. Gleams of gold. So 10 metres of each, so 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Hang on, am I missing one? It says there's four gauges there. 
Oh, Tom and missing a gauge. Tom, you naughty boy. 0 0.6, 0 0.5, I'm missing the 0 0.8. Sorry, everybody, there should be four reels. Honestly, can't get the stuff. So, we do have the 10 metres of the 1 mil in front of you. We do have the 10 metres of the 0 0.8. We're, um, we're missing the 0 0.6 in there. He's having, he's having a little look. And then, he's, okay, you can hear him rummaging. Can you hear him ru rummaging? He's having a rummage. So, you will get all four reels, won't you, Michael? Yes. I know we're confusing matters by only showing three, but we will have four for seven ninety-five. So, that, here he comes, here he comes. Did it, did it. Hello, are you just you rambling? I just know I'm boarding. Now, I'm gonna, I want to check just a minute, yeah? Ah, oh, he's good. Oh, you're good. Well, actually, no, if he was good, it would be here in the first place, but, you know. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> he went, there you go, darling. Okay, so now we have it. 1 mil, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8, 1 mil. That means 199, 199, 199, and there you go. That is impressive. Oh, look at Alison's face. Now, Alison, I'm guessing with the amount of wire work you do, you. Do I say no, Alison again? No, Rachel. Yes, literally, I am. I, Rachel, I, do, you know I do, do you know I don't mind because right, I love the same Because I was much. on with Alison this morning. I don't mind because I'm really happy to be called Alison. <laughs> sure, it is. I was going to say it's I'm quite fine. flattering to you both, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's because I've been on in the studio today with Alison. In <laughs> so I'm okay. so sorry. We could be Alison Norris or Rachel yeah, Tarry. Could, you, could you? That'd be ever so yeah. helpful. Thank you. I, I'm also in shock that we've got Rachel Norris on the late show. I still can't quite believe it, but there you go. That's my excuse for rude. Everybody's going to say, let's get Rachel's name right. I'm so sorry, okay. Rachel. I'm happy. <laughs> sorry. Don't I'm a magic in. You get sorry, through a Vicky. lot of wire. Sorry, Vicky. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Vicky. <laughs> you get through a lot of wire. I asked for that, didn't I? I bet you get through a lot of wire. I do. I just want to show you a sort of piece made with the the wire the gold you know some gold wire just show you the sort of versatility oh, you've got right. the frame wire with the cope. one and the 0.8 and you've got the weaving wire with the oh. 0.25 and 0.4 so you can that's you can create that with a very few beads and you and you can create well you can <laughs> don't look at me <laughs> well it'll be in my next in my next book I oh, will put, it? I should put that one in there. Are you writing yeah. another one now? Yes. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in, in talks. Oh, I mean. brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, my goodness me. If you've got any questions for Rachel today, do message. It's Rachel. It's an Alison's been and gone this morning. It's just me, sorry. Overtired. Um, Rachel, on the late show this evening, do message in. 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. And if Rachel has it within her power to answer you, she jolly well will. I'll try. I'll Won't you lovely girl? Yeah, I'll try. She yeah. will try. Well done. Mm. Well done. Oh, oh gosh, black wire. Mm. Really? I'm sorry, I didn't have a black wire piece, um, but it's fantastic. It's lovely for you. It is. Yeah, you really like the black wire, wire. Yes, it's a lovely wire to use. And you, again, you can do the twisting. Um, you've got the contrast, you can work it with silver, yeah. um, all sorts of different things. And yeah. it just, it's a really good, and the, coat, the coating is really good as well. Right, because that's important, isn't it? If you're going to have a coated mm, wire, you yes. want the coating to be yes. sufficient to withstand yes, to the, the work. being worked with. And then you've got this fantastic, um, again, if you're making some of the thing like Alison's pandas or, um, you know, yeah. Some sculptural pieces, mm. it's, and you a, want black in there, a little rabbit's nose, and things like that. Did yeah. you see we had yes, the rabbit team? Beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> bunny. Absolutely Hazel gorgeous. Fiber. I mean, it was like a sort of um, stuffed toy bunny as well, yeah. so, so beautiful and yeah. lovely floppy ears. And that you could pop that in the nose or a detail. That would be know. lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's like working with that lovely glossy licorice, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Just want to confirm. 10 metres of 0.4, and yet, oh, hang on, just want to make 10 metres of 1 mil. Woo! Okay. I'll tell you what, you know that gold wire we've just had? You could make some uh, bumblebee designs, couldn't you? You could. Mm -hmm. you seriously, yes, you seriously could, yeah. actually. Yes, we've got the gizmo coil of, of the black, um, and alternating with that one, yeah. you've got the body, and yeah. that would work out really well. They would, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a bumblebee trying to get in my kitchen window yesterday. He was. Yeah. Um, just bear in mind, 4 95 you do get both. That's that one. 
That's for both. The one mil and the point four. The point four and the one mil. The one mil and the point four. You get both. That means, I mean, what? That's £2.48, really £2.47. Yeah, that's, really good, that's really good, isn't mm -hmm. it? You've got it all, up, yeah, all to work with. Now, I would suggest you get the black wire as soon as you possibly can because this is not... That and the navy blue. Now, we more often than not have the gold or the champagne gold or the rose gold or the antique bronze or the silver plate. We don't often get the black. Very, very rarely indeed. Great for... I'm thinking as well because you've got Father's Day coming up in June. June, the, I think it's the 17th. Oh, Liam. It's always a panda bear, not polar bear. <laughs> the same. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Sorry. It, don't worry, I There's can't get bear. your name right, Rachel. I mean, I shouldn't worry about a black... I was thinking black, but I didn't like to say it. Don't. I, I, thinking... I did zoology as a degree as well. It's awful. <laughs> do they do a black polar bear? I'm on... <laughs> I believe anything that Rachel tells me, to be honest. I would. Now, have we got time to do those before the break? Yes. Now then, I, do, I would have done it as a star bar, but I haven't even got time for the little sting. So let's go straight in because the deal is unbelievable. Okay, we do a stunning silver findings kit, of which you get nine pieces of stunning. It's an essential sterling silver findings kit, okay? And we aren't just putting one of them together. We're not even putting... Don't you be stealing Rachel Norris' joy, Michael? <laughs> We're not putting two together, are we, Liam? <laughs> We're not even putting three together. We're putting a family of four sterling silver findings packs to get Michael's getting it yet. So there is nine, 18, 27, 36 pieces of sterling silver. Now I don't have them here in the studio, okay? But we have done a, well, my producer Liam has put together for you a Mothering Sunday sterling, because let's face it, your mom, your mum, your mama, your mother, whatever you call your lovely mom. Uh, assuming she's, um, she's, uh, well, I don't know, assuming you're making jewellery for your mum, I would hope you are. Because if you, if you can make jewellery, you've got to make something for your mum on Mother's Day, haven't you? Um, well, you think she deserves sterling silver, don't you know? So there is, in each pack, there is a pair of shepherd hooks, there is jump rings, there is crimps, there is head pins, and there is a bolt ring class. At times that by four. Okay? I would suggest you put that price straight in, Liam, because I think it's one to be boasted about. Feel proud to boast, okay? All four packs of a nine-piece sterling silver findings pack for less than ten pounds. Can you divide that by by four? Four pound twenty-four. Two pack I can't add up. Two pounds twenty-four for sterling silver pack of findings. Two pounds twenty-four. £2.24. The only slight concern is we didn't have the stock to make many. So we started with 94 units, okay? And um, because we have Rachel Norris on the Late Show for the first time ever in nine years of history of Jewelry Maker, we are superbly busy this evening. And the good news is Rachel Norris will be demoing in the next hour with a kit. And also, 8 o'clock today as well. So in the 7 o'clock hour and the 8 o'clock hour. We're mixing it up a bit today. We are, we're mixing it up a bit. Um, so if you uh, want to see a demo with Rachel, if you want to see the kit as well, then that is the 7 o'clock, the 8 o'clock, and uh, that's coming up. Okay, now then, just a quick heads up. Because Helen Joanne's had two, and Lynn's had two, and Hertrude's had three, and Shandy's had two, and Elizabeth's had two, and Anila's had ten, um, we oh, only no. had 94 to start with. Can I heads up, please, and... OK, right, starting with 94, two-thirds of the stock is gone, that leaves me with less than 30. OK, it's a no-brainer. That means four packs of sterling silver findings for £2.24 a pack. And you know what? You don't have to just stick to twos and threes, my lovelies. You can go to fours and sevens and tens as people are doing, OK? Right then, just remember, pre-order. Pre have we fixed the... been able to pre-order online? No, OK, so we've got to do it through the phone. OK, not a problem. So, um, these will be bought live to you as our today's must have at 8 o'clock, okay? The oval, we've never had these be Oh, have you felt no, these? Wonder, I mean, they are, we worked out they were at least two bags of sugar each, two kilogram bags of sugar each. Oh, they are heavy. So that's four kilograms, Do you know, something like that. I would have, I would have. Per one. 
You could use them for weightlifting and... Oh, yeah, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, and these, as I said, you can get them if you call the call centre on the free phone number at the bottom. Um, we can't get them on pre-order online. Do apologise about that, but they will be coming live in an hour. Okay, is our today's must-have, the oval and the round, brand new metal mandrels, okay? Please join us if you can after the break. Are you new to jewellery maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again. I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun a lot of cake any excuse for cake and amazing bargains i've selected some extraordinary items and pr offers there will be many so i look forward to seeing you next thursday for my birthday show the jewelry maker wall of fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewellery Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gems show. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello. <laughs> it's, it, Hello. it's happening. <laughs> so it took us nine years. Oh, I know. Hasn't it? Happening. Kerry's just said, you've never worked with Rachel before. Kerry doesn't think she's no, ever worked with you before. I know. I'm always on the mid. Um, sometimes been, on the morning. Kerry's been here five and a half um, years. This is the only time. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hello, lovely girl. Mm, I love you. It's uh, nice. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> We're so happy. Rachel Norris. I mean, my goodness me. The, uh, be, before, before we do anything, okay? Before we do anything. You have to just say this at these, this, the, 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 you, you just, words fail me and that's rare. I've been wanting to make um, an elephant sculpture for a while and it's been, it's, the kit um, 
uh, Hannah and Laura sent me were was absolutely the colours are just yeah. beautiful. The amethyst, yeah. the pinks, the the the, the blues, um, and the muted champagne gold, absolutely oh. beautiful with the antique bronze wire, and it just made me made it easy because it's quite a challenge doing a 3D sculpture. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think. We need a white background behind it. Quite a challenge, but. Um, I enjoyed it. It was fantastic, yeah. you know, to do. And I can oh. see where I could get it on the little bits and pieces. I know if I did it again, I'd just like make something differently. Mm. But it was a fantastic learning process. Um, wow. Yeah. So, do you know what I love about um, him? That I love his trunk. I love the way he's <laughs> done his trunk. It's got so much character. Well, it, yes, that's where I started. You start with that shape, mm. and then I gradually work back through. So I started with the head, formed the head. That took a whole day to do the head and the yeah. ears. And then the, I shaped round the body, um, started forming the legs, and that took another day. And yeah. the third day to weave legs and weave the toes in, if you like that, and start blanket. And the fifth day was, sorry, the fourth day was doing the blanket and attachings. So wow. that took Beautifully four days. Beautifully decorated really, yes. elephant. Mm. Absolutely incredible. Now, obviously, uh, Rachel won't be demoing that today, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> we don't have five days, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have an elephant in the necklace. Yes, we're going to do a little elephant pendant. And the nice thing about it is actually the techniques in that little pendant are no different in effect, to the, the te techniques I use to make the big elephant. Okay. The, the techniques used to make the big elephant you add in are the structural shaping mm. of a 3D form. Okay. The actual sort of simple wow work techniques are exactly the same. Yeah. You see. So, um, and also shows how you can use the beautiful, I mean, the, the Swarovski um, crystals are mm -hmm. wonderful because they've got this vibrant sort of um, radiant colours of purple and pink oh my goodness and and they go with it we've got natural amethyst in, amethyst in there so we've got a mixture of crystals and natural gemstones in there um and i love that combination um totally love that combination so um in this kit we've got a beautiful strand of formal amethyst it's absolutely fantastic and we've got um a wonderful um seed beads in three in four different colours. Okay, lovely. Thank you uh, so much, wonderful. lovely girl. Um, and with amethyst strand I've cut I'm so sorry I've cut Okay, no strand. no no we've got we've got it coming out anyway, don't worry. And um, and we've got these fantastic um, shapes of of the Zrosky and Oh, we've got all and, this coming out. Oh my up. goodness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. And the wire gauges and all the different um, necessary sh uh, shades as well there we are all so there. let us show you what we've got thank you michael we have got here I've thank you my lovely girl one, yeah so we have got hang on a second yeah i've got a slightly different pack when i got these but th th this you can make everything with those apps everything yes so you've got um Oh, I'll let you no, go. Oh, you no, know, that's fine. No, I'm, quite, I'm, I'm so happy I've got you. You can do what you like, quite frankly, Rachel. Um, but we have got, just to confirm, 100 metres of rose gold coloured silver plated copper wire in the 0 0.25 mil. 100 metres. Okay, and then we have, just to confirm there, 100 metres, yep, yeah, 0 0.25 mil. Then we've got 10 metres of the 0 0.8 mil in the beautiful champagne gold. Then we've got 10 metres of the 0 0.8 in the antique bronze. And then we've got 10 metres of the one mil for your structural. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I got a point four in there, so I would I would um I yeah, think I've you've got, got a point point four. four. I think you've got a point four antique bronze, which is it's your wonderful attaching weaving wire, and it's a really strong strength strength. So in fact, actually instead of the We are we yeah, we're missing um we're missing a point four mil. Tom. Yeah, um, ah, yep. Yes. So yep. Basically we're missing, we are. We're missing. There should be a point four mil on there as well. Yes. Yep. I don't think you get the point eight gold. That's what I'm saying. I think you get a point eight antique bronze, and you get point four antique bronze. It's all right. So the, the, it's it's just take the gold away. Okay. You forget about the gold, but you've got them in the. If you've yeah, gone back right. to the previous um, bundle where there's gold, you go back to that one again. Yeah, we'll, we'll just ignore that. You can make we'll, the elephant we'll in gold actually out. as well. <laughs> So you can go back and get the elephant in gold <laughs> with the other bundle and you can make it in the antique bronze and copper with the kit. Exactly. <laughs> so, so just Tom, not you Tom in the gallery, the other Tom. Have we got another of the antique bronze in the point, in the point um, just, to, just to visually? Sent it wrong, okay. 
Okay, oh, I've right. got my. I've got no, big, you haven't got yours in this. Okay. It just visually doesn't work very well, does so it? But not, to, not to worry. Used it all up. So 100 meters of 0.25 mil rose gold coloured silver plated copper wire 0.25 oh, mil. Those are nice as well. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Nice. Then nice. we've got just to confirm, there is 10 meters of antique bronze copper wire 0.4. 10 metres of antique bronze copper wire in 0.8 and 10 metres of antique bronze copper wire in 1 mil. So there's a real yep. missing. There's a real missing. But, but it won't be. You'll get it. Yes, you'll it's be just fine. in the studio. Now you just talked about those beautiful amethysts. I know, look at them, they're lovely. They really are mm. lovely. Beautiful amethyst. Uh, Zambian, of course. I mean, we're going to give the very best to Rachel Norris. Zambian, gorgeous, 4 mil smooth rounds. Okay, you get those as well. And then to decorate the elephant, as Rachel has done so beautifully, we have got here for you no less than four tubes of seed beads. Mm. We should also have some Rossi crystal. So we might They're separate. We've got those coming up in a minute. Yes, don't you worry, Flo. We've got those coming up. So we have got here in the colours Duraco galvanised matte champagne in the Ato, matte transparent teal in the Ato. Duracoat silver lined in the uh, dusty rose in the 11 -0, and the Duracoat matte gold in the 11 -0 as well. Which so, is great. Oh my goodness mm. me, absolutely. Mm. So you have got, as I said, you will definitely get all three reels of the antique bronze and the rose gold and the four tubes of the two of the 8 two of the 11 -0, and the Zambian amethyst. Oh my goodness me, they are so cute. <laughs> this is all very n nicely timed with Dumbo being released at the cinemas, isn't it? And the one thing I didn't photograph is the little template for the... It is, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was a template for the little earrings, which I'll photograph and put um, on the uh, Facebook page later. Um, that's one thing you won't have, but you'll yep. have the templates the rest of it. Fantastic, so fantastic. Yes, Dumbo on the, the yeah, screen. Other and films, obviously, yes. are available, <laughs> but Dumbo is the yeah. big one, isn't it, at the minute? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So, <laughs> Little Elephant... Uh, I, now, just to mention as well, I have mentioned this this evening as well, but we're going to uh, bring a demo and the kit in the 7 o'clock hour with Rachel and a demo and a kit in the 8 o'clock. Okay, yeah. so we've pulled it forward tonight, so don't if miss it, right. will you? Yeah, so that's Ooh, all right with you. Yeah. <laughs> so then, this should be for 130 metres of, of, of wire, 130 metres of wire, no less, Four tubes of the seed beads and the genuine gemstone should be, well, should be £58.76 if we added it all up together. But for those of you watching Jewelry Maker and don't know what we do, we give you a saving just for watching. I mean, mm -mm. you don't see that in the adverts, do you, in between the television programmes no. when they advertise a product? No, they don't, don't, that's, they don't no. say, oh, because you're watching Coronation Street, <laughs> we'll knock you ten quid up. We don't, no, do we? No. We don't. <laughs> Or because you're watching EastEnders, or because mm. you're watching, I don't know, whatever you might be, Jewelry mm. Maker, not that we, do, we don't do adverts, do we, but Doctor Who. Night Rider. Night Rider, don't do right Night Rider anymore. <laughs> anyway, other programmes are available. Tom, you know what would be helpful? So, the saving today, because we don't want to be arguing with the uh, gallery, we want to be watching Rachel Norris when we've got her on the lake. We want to maximise Rachel Norris, I'll be frank. Oh! That's a good yeah. saving, isn't it, Rachel? For all of that. Yeah, £31.95. Mm. And there's an extra reel, don't forget, to go on there. There is an extra reel to go mm. on there, don't forget. OK? And the seed beads will go on forever. I have barely touched yeah. what I had. I you bet. Know, so I could make wow. it all again. Wow. Wow. OK, so good luck on that. Now, can I just um, just double-check how many of the kits we've got available, please? Six, oh, is that all? OK, 67 available. 67 available and um, the lovely, lovely, lovely Rachel will be doing a demo in just a moment, okay? So we've already got less than 40 available of the kit. Already, okay? The code to check out is TJXC67. Beautiful kit. I think you'll all agree. And if you, I mean, gosh, listen to these yet to check out. Collector in Somerset, Debbie, Collector in Greater London, Mary, Collector in Devon, Nancy, Sue, Collector in Wiltshire, Margaret, all of you trying to check out that kit, fighting to get the uh, In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something. Just give me one. If we just show that elephant again. Mm, bring it up yeah. on the white. Can we do that? I was, on the white. Um, I was just going to put that behind, there. just because we were losing yeah. it a bit, weren't yeah, we? I know, because I'm dark. It's and okay. There. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? We're all fighting over this. 
Oh my goodness me. Because mm. because it's the colours as well. Yeah. And it's the vibrancy just suits. Is that an Indian elephant? It's an Indian yeah. elephant with the small ears, you yeah. see, because yeah. it's the small ears. And the Afri oh, no, yes, an African yeah. elephant's big ears. So Wendy's just <laughs> said, Hi Rachel, Zena and crew had to watch tonight. Your elephant is stunning, Rachel, as always. Uh, stunning kit, love Wendy. Oh, it's our guest, uh, guest designer, Wendy oh. Higgins. Oh, I love you. Oh, hello, Wendy. Wendy? She's Welsh. A, she is just a lovely person. Yeah. The so there you go. Just yeah. beautiful. Okay, so yeah. that's not what Rachel's teaches, but it's the same technique. the techniques. The same techniques all the way through the setting of the stone. Great. Um, the um, wiring on of the beads and the structural shaping. You just yep. expand on it and just take it. I mean, obviously, this is a challenge for me to do. Okay, so, you know, it is yeah. a challenge. So, yeah. It doesn't hurt to challenge yourself. Yeah, though, it's, it's, it's it, a challenge. So everybody ha needs to get um, have a, a a level, a pinnacle, a, something they've got to try and exactly. attain. And that exactly. was my challenge. That was your challenge. Yes. Okay, so I'm right. just going to hand over to Rachel. Oh, and we don't forget the Sorosky. So I know yep. they'll be coming we've up. We've got those coming up. Yes, yep. so we've got, got those coming up. Don't you worry, um, my lovely girl. Additions to go in. Okay. There. So um, we ha on the website. You're going to have um, a picture with. A, a ruler next to it and the main thing to do is this this bit these two templates here are for the necklace sides if okay. you want to make the links okay um, this bit is for the pendant drop below the elephant mm -hmm. if you want to make it again the techniques are really similar to setting that stone so that those frames are not for the elephant so all the elephant frames are just this little area here so it's not too bad and I've, um, this is all made out of one piece of wine. It's similar to the elephant I've made in my book. So you've got, if you sort of get stuck, have a look at the elephant in my book as well. There'll be step by steps as well. Brilliant. In there. Okay. So um, the main frame we're going to start making first. I'm not going to demonstrate how to make these wiggly shapes because, to be honest, if you can make that, you can make the yeah, wiggly shapes. You can do the wiggly shapes. Yeah. Um, so the wiggly shapes are ones for the forehead and ones for the blanket tassel mm -hmm. thing. Okay. And I'll quickly show you them. Um, which are, because I'd lost a piece, these have got beads already in them. Okay. Um, this fits along the forehead and is initially that shape. And that's okay. made with 0.81. Again, the photograph on the Facebook page has the gauges of why you Brilliant. need. Brilliant. And this is the one for the blanket tassel that fits here. Okay. And if you fill it up with beads, I will show a bit of the filling up technique. Okay, Whoops, brilliant. Daisy. And that fits below um, this level here. So that will be eventually that one and that's to show it's curved so I know there's shapes all over this little template but that's that's the elephant area if you see it okay. and then one of the other frames you need to make again which I won't demonstrate is a cabochon covering frame and may again made in 0.8 millimeter wire and all I've done is drawn around the gemstone like so mm -hmm. and that's a good starting point for an, anything is your main setting stone draw it around and then you can actually expand the frame around it and that's how i'd start off the elephant just drew around that and then drew the elephant and the cabochon covering frame fits in, into this on using the orange line so the orange line just make that like a little rectangle okay with 0.8 wire and then just turn it on its side with a bend and then cut the wire tails to to length to the length on the orange um, on the orange line and then curl them curl the ends and then hammer them and you yeah. hammer only the curls and to hammer them I'm just going to just going to talk through this bit because we want to get onto the elephant bit okay um, you push it out to the side um, sideways so that you hammer the back like that so that's the back of the hammering hammering for that so you've got you should make some curly shapes yep. um, for the forehead mm -hmm. and curly shapes for the, the blanket. Just hammer the curls and hammer the curls only for those. Don't hammer the rest of them. Okay, and we'll show a little bit of the technique for filling in those in a minute. What I'm going to do next is shape an elephant. Oh, and the final bit that's not on the template, forgive me, is a S curl for the elephant's ear. Oh, okay. Now, S curls. Um, okay, again, if I've got time, I'll show you that as well. Okay, you need brilliant. To know how to make them. Yeah. Right. Uh, elephant shape first. We may not have time to cover all this. We'll okay. do our best. Okay, we will indeed. Okay, okay. starting off, um, I'm going to do this very quickly. Start to curl using the, the, the template. Yeah. And I'm going to just start with this curl. This, for this, this lacked as a fixing curl behind the ear, so it's actually pretty much hidden this little mm -hmm. bit. 
and then I'm going to follow the black line, not the blue line on the diagram first. Make a sharp bend. Okay, and I'm going to make it this very roughly because I'm not going to take the time to shape it as you would do at home. You've got to make sure everything's in the, the, the right place, exactly as it is on the diagram. Follow the template exactly. Yes, yeah. and just print it out. So we're using the ruler, you see, will help you make sure that it's the right size. Okay. Take it off the page every so often just to, ch to make the bends. Okay. And I'm going to do this really, really quickly and it won't fit against the diagram exactly because I'm just doing diamond shapes because I'm not spending the time you would at home. So cut to bends and bends and bends to make the kind of diamond shape. I'm with you. Okay. okay. To sharpen the bend up, squeeze either side of the bends. There, that sharpened it up yeah. with the chain nose pliers. Okay. And then now I'm going to do a set of bends around the blanket. I'm going to take them off, take it off the page and just do rectangular bends, mm -hmm. holding the wire um, near where you want to bend and then pulling it round. Okay. Clamp either side of bends to sharpen them up if you want to make them really sharp. Yeah. And back up again. Okay. Now keeping the wire in front of that little tail curl, I'm going to turn this diagram to make it a bit easier for me. And I'm going to go back along the back of the elephant. Mm -hmm. Now if you want to set it over cabochon, don't omit that loop. But if you want to make um, a loop for a, a hanging loop, you put the loop in. I put the loop just above where the blanket is and I'm just pulling it round. Use round nose pliers to help you. Mm -hmm. But again for speed I'm not gonna I'm just gonna put it around in a circle. Okay. And I'm ratcheting a little bit just to get it. That, that noise is the noise you never want to hear with wire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, means you, it means you've dented it and done something dreadful. But uh, if you can hide it at the back of a piece or hammer it out, you know, there's, okay. there's all wire over it, nothing is lost. And again I haven't got a perfect um, perfect square there but you know over the tail bend outwards mm -hmm. to form the back of the tail lift the piece up around round nose round, round nose pliers to form the, a little tail where the bead's going to fit in place now grip the tips of your chain nose pliers in and then do a slight turn like a twist and that twists in towards the circle to make a complete circle a bit better Pulling the wire around to make a tail, I'm going to just make another bend to form the rear end. And I'm going to turn, so you can turn the, the template so it's easy for you to work on. And I'm going to make some legs up, round, round. Again, these are really rough. Make sure it vaguely touches the blanket. And in fact, it doesn't really matter. The, the elephant can be, have long legs or short legs or whatever exactly, legs you don't, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Around we go for the trunk, so I form the legs, this is speed, speed making, <laughs> I can tell you. You would take literally um, maybe a quarter of an hour just, yeah. you know, shaping this in real life. Oh, we get you against the clock. Bringing up the trunk, pull round, grip near the ends and pull round again to form a, um, a trunk tip. Slightly, uh, put the tips in again and slightly open out mm -hmm. and then do another sharp sharp bend I'm nicking denting the wire as I go try not to do this I'm doing it um, work near the tips of your pliers that's what you need to do work near the tips of your pliers in we go and push in clamp either side of that tip and you made a little trunk tip okay now start pulling around you can work with your fingers now if you want to pulling around for the, the trunk top mm -hmm. and then shape over look at that <laughs> very misshapen elephant I'm sorry Shape the top of the ear, clamp, and you start working on the blue line now. Mm -hmm. Shape the top of the ear, round, yep. using the ear as a guide. Up, no, down towards the tusk first. Mm -hmm. Down, round, bend for the tusk. And then what you can do is I've got photographs on the, wow, well, photographs on the, um, on the um, Facebook page, which yeah. will show you the shape. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay, little eye. Yep. So what we're going to do is talk through the next bits okay. so that we can really work on how to make it. Brilliant. There's the eye and the curl. Okay. Okay, that's the elephant shape. So that's what you end up with, a shape like, like Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Okay. okay, that was quick. What you need to do is curl these two tails. There's a little tail here, little tail there. Curl them and then hammer them. And to hammer them you need to be brave and open it out slightly. Okay. 
and I'm not going to hammer it, but you hammer the back of that curl just by holding that over like that. And with that one, you bend the curl outwards mm -hmm. and you can hammer it like that. Okay. Okay. And then you bend everything back into shape. Okay, so be brave and just take it, manipulate things and you've got it in, in, okay. in place. Yep. Now, how long have I got, my darling, so I know? Um, is it five? Yeah. 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 So Four what we're going to do, minutes, we're going to talk through. Okay. Some Brilliant. Things. Okay. So the net, with the S-shaped curl, I think you know how to make it. Um, if S-shaped curls are sort of um, fairly simple. I'm going to mm. quickly make one. I'm sorry because mm. I think it's a, it's important. Okay. Very very quickly. I'll do a tiny bit of a curl. Okay. No problem. So tiny curl. Use the tips. Tip of your pliers. Clip the end. Sit so circular. Make an S-shape. Working over the white for you. Make an S shape mm -hmm. with one side to fit into the ear space. Okay. Okay, make it a tight spiral. So you use clamp, clamp, clamp. With the other side, you don't know quite how long you, your how long your or big your ear is gonna be. Yeah. So to put it round into a circle, you can do this with your fingers actually. Mm. Put it round and then just pull. Can you see how I'm actually making a spiral with my fingers? Inwards, mm -hmm. outwards to inwards outwards to inwards, pull it inwards, pull it inwards, pull it inwards, and you barely, you don't even have to use pliers. Wow. Because the point eight is so malleable. Mm. And then you can clamp it near the centre. Gosh, that was quick. That's an S-shape. So you can work, use, t practice, practice makes perfect. Of course it does. So I've worked from inwards to outwards to make that one, and outwards to inwards to make that one. Okay, lovely. Okay. Now this spiral, I've wired into the ear. Mm-hmm. Um, what I've done is, is you've made this tight spiral, just open it out slightly. Yeah. And there. And then just um, bring it towards the ear. Mm hmm Like so. Yeah. Wrap some 0.4 millimetre wire around this bit of the ear first, and then work your way round. Mm hmm Work your way round the edge of the ear. I'm going to put it to the upright, I think. Okay. Work your way round attaching and binding in if i can go to your camera darling mm -hmm. sorry um oh i see yeah Got work you. your way around all the way around the ear and leave a tail here okay work your way around the other spiral just catching the outer part of the spiral and the end that will touch it in so you don't have to do very much more and you've worked on that bit and leave that wire there okay to work on the trunk take some 0.25 copper mm -hmm. and wrap around the end bind on a bead yeah. A couple of wraps through the bead because it's 0.25 and then do two by two wrap up to up and because this, this side is longer than that side do maybe four wraps to two or three wraps to two mm -hmm. to make sure it catches up. Bind around there, cut and tuck in that wire. Okay. Do the same along the tail, same as that tusk, adding a bead here and then wind up the tail, cut and tuck that white wire in, that's mm -hmm. 0.25 and for the base of the feet use another section of 0.4 and attach to each base of the feet with two sections. Yeah. Here we do a crisscross wrap, and I'll show you that, that with one of the frills. Okay. And wrap up here and hold, and uh, keep it, and blah, don't cut the wire tails. Mm -hmm. So you've worked on the trunk in the same way as well, adding in a bead, and do, um, that's with point four, mm -hmm. and do two wraps to here, or uh, to four wraps here, so that it travels around in a circle. That's yeah. with your basket weave. Okay. So you've got all these wire tails now, so you can start then working on attaching the next sections. Brilliant. Okay, I'll just do a quick crisscross wrap to show you. Great. Because we want to attach some sections. Okay. Um, if you can give me a touch Well, I'll more. tell you what, while you do that, I'll mm. do the Swarovski, yes. and that gives you time to get ready. Yes. Shall we do that? That, that helps, Rachel. Don't yes. think I'm interrupting her. No, I'm no, not. I'm really not. I'm just letting Rachel get ready for the next section. Mm. And Rachel particularly wants me to get these on, <laughs> and I don't blame her at all. Um, this is our treasures bundle. Our little treasures. Wow. We have got three of these. Okay, three of the beautiful cushion cut fancy peony pink. And I tell you what, that really is a peony pink, isn't it? Beautiful. They've got the uh, peony pink uh, lacquer on those crystals in a cushion cut. And you get three of those 12 mil and also the very fancy Swarovski amethyst coloured crystals, okay? Just quickly, let me show you. I'm going to race through these because we hopefully all know the, um, what Swarovski, oh, there you go. 
you get two of those amazing, glorious amethyst. Now it isn't an amethyst, but it's an amethyst oh, colour. I use them in every, loads and loads of my designs and they'll be, when I do write that book, it'll be in there. Yeah. Loads and loads of designs yeah. made with those. Exactly. Um, yeah. They're beautiful, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll pop the price in just so we can go back to Alison briefly. Uh, we have got Little Treasures, <laughs> nine ninety five. I meant, I I meant me. I, 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 I meant me again. briefly, not you. No, me. I'm, I'm Alison. It's fine. Did I say Alison again? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, did. I didn't. He <laughs> said to me again. I don't mind. It's great. I'm so it's sorry. Really I mind. I quite like it. I'm enjoying no. it. I'm, so <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's because I've been on with Alison this morning. <laughs> It's because I've been on with Alison this morning. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Sorry. It's all right. I'm not Rachel. really not funny. It's lovely. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Rachel. It's okay. <laughs> Over to Rachel. <laughs> and then what, um, what we're going to do is quickly demonstrate a crisscross wrap. So along the blanket detail, I've yep. added some beads, um, these beautiful um, Maiki beads. Mm. I've wrapped around the base of the little, of the little um, um, thing. Um, added in a bead, crisscross one uh, wire to the other and pull tight. Mm -hmm. And this is, and then all you do is wrap up the top and then cut and tuck in the wire. So I'm going to do, quickly do that because I'm going to attach this to the elephant now. Oh, okay. So this is now going to attach. We've got loads of wire tails, so we can do loads with them. So the um, head detail, mm -hmm. you use the wire left from from wrapping the trunk, and start and the wire left from doing the ear. Mm -hmm. And you can wrap along and bind this into place. Mm -hmm. So you, what you do is wrap along the top of the ear and bind to these little bits as you go. So yep. that's how you bind. You bind using each end and mm -hmm. you cut and tuck in those wires. Don't cut this wire because you'll need to bind this to the head, um, to the rest of the body. But we're not going to do that yet. Also, work along the eye, adding in an eye. Um, in the same crisscross fashion. Mm -hmm. so, so you basically use these wires to bind on that. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna bend this out of the way. Yeah. Because you can do that without destroying the head, and then you work on the blanket detail. And again, use these wires left from from working on the head, and you can add in seed beads as you go. And I haven't got time to pick up the seed beads and work with them. Okay. But can you see how you bind that into place? Mm -hmm. And then use those what that use that wire to wrap along to the base here, and then cut and tuck this wire and use that wire to wrap along to the base here and cut and tuck this wire. Okay. And, and this, this wire you are going to bind around these tails. I'll show you on the next stage actually. Tell you what then, just quickly we've got a quick hot announcement. We have just been given 300 of these. Brilliant. Okay, we have just been given them. We, didn't, we haven't had these for a while, the mini macrame board. So we're just going to go back to Rachel when she's ready for the next stage. Mini macrame board on the Late Show. Okay, CJZX93 for the mini macrame board. So these are ideal if you want to make your bracelets. Um, ideal if you're. Uh, I'm just thinking as well. You want a macrame and you're going on your holidays, or you're going uh, somewhere that um, you might be going. You might have a caravan. So what we've got here is now. The large macrame board is usually $9.95. The mini macrame board, if you're a regular watcher of jewellery maker, is $6.95. Did you hear me say the usual price? It's got to be something amazing for me to interrupt Rachel Norris, let's be, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't dare, would I? I really wouldn't dare. Mini, having said that, Rachel is getting ready for the next bit. But yeah, it is an all-time, what we like to do on The Late Show, we have an L-E-P. That is the lowest ever price. Now, we use macrame boards all the time. Our guest is on as use macrame boards every day. This is the mini macrame board to an all-time lowest ever price of $4.95. Never happened. Never happened. £4.95. Are you cracking a monkey I'm, nut there? You I'm look like you're cracking a monkey hammering. nut. You see, if you don't, if you don't have a hammer, you can just squeeze, <laughs> squeeze. If you don't have a hammer or a steel block, you squeeze oh. the curls and you can do that. Like that, oh. you see. There we go. You must have some strong hands, Rachel Norris. <laughs> she must have, mustn't she? I tell you, you can pick up the, the bracelet mantles Sorry, later. Stuck, Four pounds, 90 Now, do you know what? Most of you are going for two each, and while they're there at that deal, 
Oh my word. Now what, um, just quickly, what our guest designers say, those of our macrame and guest designers, they say get a load of these because if you work with wire, you'll need a different board. If you work with um, cord, you'll need a different... So depending on the thickness of the wire or the cord, <clears throat> it will, it will, it will sort of open, widen these. So you do need different boards depending on okay. which cord or yes. wire you you're working demote, with. You're not demote them. You're kind of uh, promoting them. Exactly. <laughs> promoting exactly. Them yeah. From the thin wires yeah. up to the, the yeah. thick, thick cords. Yeah. And also, let's be honest. If you've been macrame for a while, no matter how clean and tidy, when we've all used them as a coaster for a cup of tea or coffee, let's be let's be truthful. They get a bit mucky. They get a mm. bit mucky. I've seen Mark Smith on my board. It's shocking. Oh, dear. Shocking. Uh, so, um, hurry, 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 hurry. Um, yeah, all-time low. Usually six ninety-five, four ninety-five. Okay. So, if we come back to you, Rachel, yes. you're ready. Yes. Okay, lovely. Um, there you go. So, very quickly, what we've done, I'll hold up to camera and just go through what we've done and achieved so far. So, we have woven the tusk, woven the trunk, um, done an eye and an ear, then bound on the front um, piece and bent it away to work on this side bit. We've worked on the tail, then we've worked on the legs, bound on that blanket and then used the wire to weave up the, the, from the, the tail from the legs to weave up the side of the elephant and up to the top and we've stopped. So we've used all those wires and cut the, cut the tails away. Okay, yeah. Now we can use the cabochon covering frame to set the piece. Well, you're going to add in two bits of wire. Mm -hmm. One around the base, the base of the of the point of the triangle. I need you just okay. come left a bit, yeah. Rachel. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's all right, I'm a different plate. <laughs> I'm a different plate. No, don't mind if you do. And then what I've done. Sorry, that's. That's not good. Rachel. Channel. Hold all the right channel all together. It's <laughs> a bit kinky. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My name's Alison, and... <laughs> yeah, let's call you Alison when you're being kinky. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, it's that stage in the day, isn't it, when you do... There. Anyway. There. <laughs> stop. Stop, Rachel. Literally stop. <laughs> there we go. So what I've done is add in, added in some wire to the base. Really, 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 really... Um, sort of... Um, uh, try and get it neater. And basically, when, when you, as you're doing this, mm -hmm. add on a bead and yeah. maybe wipe the frame and then come back again. So you can fill these spaces up as yeah. you wire along. And I haven't got time to show you, but I did fill in this bit by weaving across the back and then pull it, put it back to the back and then, um, you know, mm. put that into place. Mm -hmm. I've got another bit of wire to the top and you can wire, it, wire in another bead to fill that space as well. There's a space okay. here, so you can, you can buy, wire in another bead to make it beautiful. So you can add in all these little tiny seed bees, which are such great embellishments. And then I've got this ready now to set, set the cabochon yeah. almost. So I'm just going to go down and maybe about three or four wraps around the other side. And remember, I've got all these gaps to fill. So I can put in, uh, this is the time to wire in across these spaces and add in seed beads before you set the cabochon. And well, it's, you've got less room to do so. Okay. Okay. So I have really not gone down enough down this side, but what I'm going to do is place it into place. You really want to go about three or four, three mils down that side, three mils down that side and whatever. And then you've got to push this cabochon covering frame, I call it, into mm -hmm. the back so it sits like so. Okay. Here, I'm just going to bind around this once. So now I'm going to ignore all the timing. I'm just going to go... Oops, a daisy, that's it, lovely. And then round, you try to go twice round this, mm -hmm. but I haven't got, again, just once is enough just to show you. And again, the other side, again, do it twice and up. Use these wires to, to fix these other two um, wires in place by passing it through little gap on the side okay and you can cut some of these wires you don't have to use them all but as long as you've added beads into the spaces and this one here again I'm doing this so roughly but you'd, you'd spend a lot more time just um, making sure that these this is fixed in place so again bind around this prong here so this keeps this backing frame attached to that little diamond and it's ready to set the stone in place. Okay. 
and then just part, wrap along the frame as much as you can. I'll get the finished elephant in a minute and we'll show you. So now to set the stone. On a soft surface, like a, a rubber mat or something like that, a macrame board is ideal. Put the stone into place, check its fit and then press this over and look it sets the stone immediately. Easy. Now all you need to do then is pull these wires up through the loops and cinch it back. I mean, you don't do one side. Okay. Through the back. Yep. Through the side. And up again through the backing frame, and it pulls it into place. It is just a lovely, simple setting. Isn't it shows it? off the stone. You've got a curl yeah. detail, and then come back up through the back. Sorry, I've got to see it, Dina. It's okay. And then back up through the spiral curl. Mm -hmm. Use pliers to help you pull through spaces like that. Okay. And it's pulled it into place. Oh, that's okay. lovely. If I show you the finished one yes, and we're done. Yes, please. Okay, there's the finished setting. And you can see how I've bound in little beads all the way around into those little gaps. And then um, cinched all this, that into place. You can see how I've worked around the back to, to hold that rectangular setting in place. And that's basically it. So I know I've gone quickly, but the essentials of making this are all in there. So listen... Well, maybe write down what I've said, That's go back it, through, yeah, it, and then then I know you'll be able to make it from what I've said. Everything I've said you need to make it with is in the instructions. It's just quick. So just take your time, mm -hmm. maybe stop, write, it, write down what I've said, yeah. and then go through it, and you'll be fine. Because if you, th if you think, oh, well, I've, I, I've missed that, and you start to practice, it's not a problem. No, you've got okay? YouTube. Exactly. No. <laughs> go to jewelrymaker.com. If you go down to the bottom, you'll find our YouTube page. And if you just go for today's date, 31st mm. of March, and you go to the Late Show, and then you'll fast forward it about an hour, I mean, starting at seven o'clock. It's my fault because I've prepared for a masterclass, and we we do evening demos. Because you swapped and it's didn't my you from fault, the afternoon you see, to the so, it's you know, you know. <laughs> But I wanted to give you the elephant, worry, so you got it. Don't you worry, flower. Don't you worry, But yes, yeah, so the YouTube there. The templates are on our Facebook page. Yes. They're already on mm. there. Oh, Karen, mm. smoking yes, hot. Yes, and I've, hopefully you'll work through. What look at the, each stage and you'll be able to work out what to do. Of course. You'll be fine. That's amazing. Julie on the Wirrells mm. just said, Rachel, you are a very, she said, you are very talented. I am mesmerised. Beautiful work as always. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy making it because, I mean, as I say, the kit, the colours are glorious and um, it just really helps inspire you to make, make the, uh, the, um, the elephant it style really pieces. does. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. Now, can I just reiterate what was in the kit for you? Okay, just quickly. Um, can we put 50p in the heating meter? Just, just, just for, or just at least take the cold off for a bit. I'll, I'll put your bits in. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have you because I'm oh, hot yeah. enough for both of us. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. Hot, she's hot enough for both of us as well. <laughs> All right, kinky Rachel. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's why I never ever watch myself back because I'm just awful. That's it's brilliant. Awful. I said I don't, I don't bite. She said I don't the worst mind. The person to put on my That's TV. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's arm. I'm hot as well. <laughs> right then, so we're going to give you these incredible. So a lot of you waiting to check out. Don't forget Zambia and Amethyst. Oh yeah, lovely. You've got two 8 O's, two 11 O's. You've got um, matte transparent teal in the 8 O. You've got Duracoat Silver Lined, uh, Dusty Rose Beads in the 11.0, Duracoat Matte Gold in the 11.0, and Duracoat Galvanised Matte Champagne in the 8.0. And we're missing a reel in the studio, but you won't be. Mm. Okay, 100 metres and 0.25 mil in the rose gold. Okay, silver plate, copper wire. Then you've got 10 metres in 1 mil, 10 metres in 0.4, and 10 metres in 0.8. So there are three reels of the antique bronze in three different gauges, 10 metres in each. We just happen to be missing a reel in the studio. Okay? And those little sea beads, and they're fantastic colours, jewel-like. With, and then even the, the champagne ones are perfect for the toes, for this sort of um, the, the little toe. I just couldn't have thought of a better oh, bead actually, that's to, because they are sort of toes. <laughs> and um, again, if you want to make them up into any other designs, you've got spring colours, you've got rose colours. You can make roses, mm. you can make leaves. Um, you've got sandy beaches, and there's all these other things to put in your palette. So once you've made the elephant, and you can put those seed beads in your stock of for yeah, exactly. as a palette of colours. Exactly. So Rachel, thank you so much. That kit is thirty one ninety five. Okay, we have got all sorts of people asking about these and when they are yeah. coming live online. Okay, in 20 minutes. Now, you can at the moment get them early by calling our call centre yes. on 0800 644 655. We've got the oval for your cuffs and the round for the bangle. They are coming up. They are brand new. 
these are brand new metal superb mm. rachel can't wait to have a little show with you got with some, got my mat left. Mm -hmm, she's got it <laughs> Look, I'll let you demo for ages, don't I tell you? Did you see that then? Did you see that? Don't argue with me. <laughs> right then, I'll tell you what as well, because we are <laughs> celebrating having this amazing lady on the late show. Rachel Norris. Thank you. Or Alison Tarry. Because I've been on once. I don't mind. It's, it's, it's I, like, I really don't mind. I would. Tell me, I'll say I'm woman. Uh, right then, so we have got two of Rachel Norris's DVDs. Yes. Angels and Ballerinas, which is a beautiful tutorial DVD. Mm. And I got some of the angels just to oh. show you. So, um, and just in one of them, really, oh, just showing the simple. I'm sorry, I've seen it. And the, and the silver one. I mean, there's, oh, and, here, and Christmas decorations. So you can make these lovely, simple Christmas decorations. Wow. Um, and I made one of these in sterling silver for my uh, sister, actually. For, Did you? She's born on Christmas Day. So, oh, she? Yeah, so oh. She's, she's got one of these. And oh, how lovely. The silver ones. And it, they are, the, on the photograph on the DVD, there it's the back of the angel. Because it's, it's, the, it's the only photograph I didn't check, actually. But um, um, the back of the angel is like that. And it's on the yeah, but you know what? Come That's on. a testament matter. to the quality of your work. <laughs> yeah, if we got it wrong yeah, and photographed it on the right. that, well, there we go. doesn't that say all yeah. about the quality of your work? But inside you've got a wonderful booklet and you've got step by step. So that's just the wire work one. And then on the other one, you've got the, the metal sheet angel. So yeah. you can make these forms in all, in all sorts of different ways. Yeah. And that's quite nice because if, you, if you're, well, you can develop, if you're not used to working in sheet metal, um, you can make it in the wire and then think, oh, I can do that. And then you work it. Mm. In, with a bit of sheet metal into it, which yeah, is what yeah. you do with the other one. And the Absolutely. ballerina design is, is lovely too. Yeah. Well, as it's Mother's Day, and uh, we were talking earlier about, uh, this morning, myself and Alison, about uh, obviously there's some of us that don't have our mums anymore. So we actually thought this would be lovely to bring this angel, a DVD of yours, you. to air today on Mother and Sunday. Yes, I think yes. it's important that we remember mum's past and present. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to give you a little saving, if you don't mind, Rachel. Lovely. Yes. Together, for these DVDs, they should be twenty-five ninety-five. The lowest we've ever taken these two DVDs to seventeen ninety-five, mm. which I think you'll agree, Alison, is amazing value for money. <laughs> Alison's like, yeah, hang on a minute, what are you doing? She's, uh, she's, uh, she, I didn't do it again. I didn't do. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> <so Venus. laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, don't, I'm going to choke. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I actually don't mind. I wouldn't mind. I've been so excited oh. about having Rachel on the late show, but I can't even get... I can't, what is wrong with me? It's in there. It's locked in, isn't it? It's locked, locked in. It's deed, locked deed pill. Alison Norris. From now on. <laughs> <laughs> Have I been getting have I been getting abusive messages coming in saying how Zena, pack it in? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh now that's a, now are. that is a good idea. Deb Briggs has just said, could you imagine the work if Alison and Rachel collaborated? We need that, that needs to happen. We need um Jeff Goldblum, don't we? In the <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Why? He had a, um, um, a, was it a time transporter device? I can't remember yeah, what it was. Yeah. I don't know what he made anyway. Oh, in the fly! <laughs> I don't think they mean that one. No. <laughs> we could do it. Yeah, Deb's just said, taxi for Zena. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to whip myself with a mallet in a minute, I'll tell you. Okay, 17.95. It won't leave a dent. Won't it? No. <laughs> there you go. Rachel's like, seriously. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, guys. Um, okay, slightly awkward Better when don't. I've got to Rachel. <sighs> <laughs> you can have it again, you know. It? Just... I know. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> could be the end of my career, couldn't it? It could be the end of Rachel Norris on the Late Show for the first time in nine years. Have we got an award of how many times I've actually got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have oh. to do a shift report at the end of the Isn't show. It? Can you imagine? The would help if the someone presenter... Could, if someone could go back and count. 
bottom. <laughs> I half expect Rachel to go to um, to go to whoever looks after our guests is on. No. Is I mean, go, seriously, don't put me on with um, <laughs> Zena again. She can't get me name right. Did you just say Rachel? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> No. Every time, oh, actually, it does hurt. It does. Oh, no, you said it doesn't dip, but it. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, we're all right now. <laughs> what? You, <laughs> you're fully entitled if I do it no. again. No, I won't report you. I won't report you. <laughs> you don't have to report me. They're just going to watch this back and they've never seen it. Get in here. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, the DVDs are lovely, and they I've worked are. so hard on them. And Rachel Norris is on them. Hope you enjoy, yeah, wherever she is. <laughs> Look, please don't tell me off because I'm already so embarrassed in myself. Honestly, nobody can sh can, sh can, can can upset me anymore because I'm I'm so upset. You know, when your mum says to you, "Are you disappointed in yourself?" Like, yes. No, no, I love you. It's all right. <laughs> Now, who's the book, book by? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> oh, Jamie Cloud Eakin. That sounds lovely to start with. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. What a posh name that is. Mm. Hey? Simple techniques for beautiful jewellery. And that is possible, well, that's isn't what, it? You want, what the sea beads you've got left over from the elephant kit, you can make up into that beautiful design, exactly. can't you? Because they've got the right sizes there. Mm. That looks lovely. Look, Look at, at this. My goodness me. I tell you what, if you've got, and I'm going to say this now, this is a beautiful hardback book, lovely. If you, if you have well photographed projects with good textual instructions, mm. that can so encourage inspiration. Oh, I mean, you'd have that book um, next to you just for inspiration, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I, mean, look, I mean, the designs in there, I mean, I can see from... Oh, yeah, I'll show, you in, I'll show you inside in a moment. Yes. Um, now, we mm. found this on the Jungle website earlier, 17 99 I'm just going to put that out there. We checked. 17 99 Now, in here, this is... Now, we've got a lot... We've got some cabochons on the show, actually. This is all about beading with cabochons. So, if you have got some of our amazing cabochons, you can combine an amazing variety of cabochons with beads on sophisticated jewellery or seed beads. Okay? I'll open the book for you in a moment. But um, this is the ultimate guide. Offers a wealth of information and encouragement to beaders, okay? So we found it on the Jungle website at 17.99. Well, that's nice and lime green. Let me just give you, oh, okay. look at that. I mean, I've just opened And also the, the fact that she's using um, these lovely gem gemstones, there's rhodonite there, and uh, rhodonite will come up quite often mm -hmm. here. I mean, and it's yep. rare, but it looks exactly, come up. Exactly, yeah. And we've, we've, I worked with a kit with rhodonite on couple of years ago mm -hmm. beautiful and so and there she is using those and with the oh be beautiful everything's you can see the diagrams yeah. um, gorgeous work isn't really, it really really nice to, easy to understand i mean i just ran randomly open that let's just find you another one here oh look at those mm. <gasps> oh and the my thing is word. you see um she's not she's letting the cabochon these are frames these wonderful stones you, you like all of us have got these wonderful stones and we don't know <gasps> what oh. she'll do with them this would help you make something beautiful out of the, these, this, these, we've probably got them in drawers and, and little boxes and things like that. Yeah. You can get them out and start to exactly. make them. Actually start to yeah. be inspired. Yes. Because you've got step by step by step instruction. Absolutely fantastic. Really lovely. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So it says mm. here that you've got basic techniques and the unique stitches that she need that that she's developed over more than a decade. A lot of work mm, on into this. Is. My goodness me! It's a lifetime, really. To, of, it, uh, you know, oh yeah. Well, you know how it feels. Yeah. To yeah. A yeah so how much progress book. you make yeah. over that time, mm. and you're going to get catch catch up with her. You're going to get ten years ahead. Yeah. Uh, instantly with the, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the book. Absolutely. And then, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm. there's everything in here. It's the most beautiful book. Let me tell you how many... Pe now, $17.99 on the Jungle website. We've gone to $15.95 for you, OK? Let me just te check how many... Pe oh, wow. Lovely, I know. Wow. The nice thing is that you, with the seed beads, you can get shades to match any gemstone yeah, exactly. you have. Yeah, exactly. So point. she's chosen... Um, She's probably got lists of the, the beads she used, but she's chosen gemstones and then picked these lovely seed bead tones to go with them. And I mean, that's inspirational in well, itself. She's, she's got unakite there. Yes. Quite clearly unakite. And we've got unakite cabochons in the show tonight. Okay? 
That is a 127 page beautiful book on mm. how to bead with cabochons. Wow, absolutely I'm gorgeous. Enjoy that, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get that when I leave the studio. Well, these, these, these are the lovely, um, you know, when you've got a hardback book oh, like gosh, this, it's yes. just nice to have on a coffee oh, table, yes. isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. It's yeah. kind of book that when mm. you go to one of those boutique mm. hotels, they've got that there. Oh, we've forgotten it? how to do something because we all, yes, it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's got a beautiful, it's beautifully photographed throughout. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you see, we all forget how we've done something, and that's why yeah. I do di diagrams. Mm. And having that reference means yeah. you, you know, you have that security of not forgetting that, Absolutely. that technique. Yeah. Gorgeous book. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. $17.99 on the Jungle website. We've gone to $15.95 to give you a savings. So well done. Simple techniques for beautiful one off piece of jewellery. Love it. Do you know what? Just, just quickly, just before we move on, that kind of book is, as you say, just about learning the techniques, but not mm. just about that. Actually, for those of us that don't have the kind of creativity that you have, it's, naturally. She's got the colour cut. She don't have to think, oh, what colour do I put exactly. with that? And, or even, yes. Even a size, design. Yes, it's there. That's going to give lovely. you encouragement mm. to... Colour to, tones, colour palettes. Exactly. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Mm. Now then, speaking of cabochons... Oh, did you say so? Uh, no, it does that, mm, mm, no, that looks like amethyst to me. That's definitely amethyst. But it's still beautiful. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but it's... Oh, hello. Now, we just thought, let's give you some cabochons, and we've just bought you that beautiful book by Jamie. Mm. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that funny bone then? <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know the elephant kit? I know it means daft. Oh, no, God. That's Zuma. karma, that is. We're calling you Alison 74 <laughs> times in the past two hours. The, um, oh, it's, right. it's not. I was, it's not a very funny bone, is it? It's, it's not, not for me. It's, it's probably funny for everybody else again. That'll teach you for calling Rachel Alison. But the two... I'm going to be really... Sort of, uh, before I forget, um, the two seed bead sizes in the elephant kit would go really nicely with it. Look, you see, because the tone is right. So it's just perfect, saying. isn't it? No, you're absolutely. You are a very That's handy, so, glamorous so assistant. <laughs> you can come again, Rachel. <laughs> Yay! Aren't they lovely? Oh, see, it's not even funny. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety five. Maligano sounds like a cheese, doesn't it? Maligano. Wow, is that its name? It's yeah. like it's like a name. Is it, it from a place or from a thing? Um, from a I'm type. Just, of, I'm not. Hmm. If I'm if I'm absolutely mm. truthful, Rachel, no. I'm not entirely but sure. Maligano. Maligano. Sounds, sounds, sounds Italian. Sounds Italian, doesn't it? Maligano. <laughs> that on my pasta. <laughs> that on my pasta. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, excuse me. I like them shapes. Yeah, they're you? really edgy. They are, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah that's, lovely. That would be um, anyone, anybody could wear that. Male, female, totally anybody. Good. Totally totes unisex. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. And the, 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 you can get the black, black and silver wire with that one, and then you can go... Um, oh, that black wire we had earlier. Yes. Mm. Yeah, gold yeah. wire with that one. <coughs> oh, oh! Oh, that's... Oh. Is that... Um, sea fossil. Sea fossil, yes. Mm-hmm. Is it sea sediment fossil, Jasper, or sea fossil, I never know. Sea, sea, sea fossil, fossil coral, Jasper. Jasper. In the weirdest shape cabbage oh, yes. I think I've ever seen. Yeah, that's free form. So you can go, um, Laura, I love, the, I mean, isn't that beautiful? Um, Laura Binding, some of her um, free form work, get that free form style yeah. in there, and then you can work around that really easily. Yeah. Lovely. I'm just making you giggle now, aren't I? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just giggling, like, just basically looking at her and no, giggling. Literally. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, sea fossil, <laughs> coral, in this, uh, no, it says mul <coughs> excuse me. So literally, you could have any shape. Yeah, I mean, mm. have I just got the one? That must just be one great big sea fossil coral. You got two in the recording, have you? Probably varies, to be fair. Yeah, because they're oh, totally look. different. Look. <gasps> yeah. Look at the other one. Yeah. Wow, it's like a slice of it is, um, isn't it? slices of oranges. And yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. They do look. They wow. do look like slices of orange in yeah, them, don't they? they? <laughs> like you're going to throw into a lovely. Um, Mulled wine mm. with a cinnamon yes. stick. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the giggles now, yeah, you have, haven't you? She's got the giggles. That's She's got lovely. the giggles. 24 95 Okay. Now then. 
Right, remember, 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 remember. You can now, after the break, finally, I know a lot of you have been checking out uh, through the call centre, but finally you should be able to order these online. Oh, yeah. After the break, the brand new metal phenomenal oval and round uh, ma um, bracelet and bangle cuff mandrels, <laughs> you name it. Oh, my word, they're coming up and Rachel's going to want to get her hands on. That's it, Rachel. <laughs> no, <laughs> you did. Yes. Did really well. While Thank we're you. finishing on the high, Aww. can we go to a break? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Are you new to jewellery maker? For a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again. I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun, a lot of cake, any excuse for cake, and amazing bargains. I've selected some extraordinary items and PR offers. There will be many. So I look forward to seeing you next Thursday, my birthday show. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to tell you about Wednesday, which is going to be a really interesting day. We've got Feldspar family showcases. So the Feldspar family is a really huge family of gemstones, and it includes everything from Amazonite, Labradorite, Moonstone, Andesine, a little bit of everything. And we've got all sorts of treats for you throughout the day. So tune in on Wednesday for Feldspar family showcases on Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage.
Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to The Late Show with Rachel Norris. There we are. <laughs> Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, right then, um, okay, we have got something very, very special other than Rachel, Rachel Norris, Norris on The Late Show. Okay, we have got two brand new, now, brand new um, mandrels, bracelet, bangle, cuff, whatever you want to call mm. them. We've got one round, one over, we're starting with the round. And they've been on pre-order. And you've been snaffling them, okay? So, the code is in, just to let you know, so, you can na so we can now buy online. I'm terribly sorry that when we put them on pre-order earlier at six o'clock that you didn't have that facility. It's a technical glitch. I do apologise. We tried to fix it. But the good news is we now have it sorted. So, firstly, when we were with Claire McDonald in a workshop in the week, we took them into the late... Well, I say we. Liam, my producer, took them into the ladies. What was the response? Basically, <laughs> every one of the ladies in the workshop were smitten. You struggled to get out of there alive with them, didn't you? And Claire McDonald tried to snaffle them. Mm. Um, um, now then, what I will say is, this is where our one-off post and packaging absolutely comes into yes, its own. they are um, substantial. I mean, we were comparing them to one kilogram bags, bags of sugar, and it's at least two of those for each mandrel. Um, and it, so that means they're, they're just... They, beautifully made and substantial and they're going to take the wear and tear of, of what you're going to do to it a mm. wooden mandrel will mark over time and you'll get dents and dits and whatever in it um and you and if you've got a metal mandrel you've got an a really exactly a really nice surface yeah and it'll take what the the impacts because of the weight yes yes it'll last longer basically yeah than, and that's the lovely mm. thing it's it, it's a proper really sturdy yes. piece of kit isn't yes. it now can i just mention i'm uh, sorry i'm gonna have to put that it's hurting i'm sorry you're gonna break me adding, <laughs> you know now there's something i do need perfect. to mention before we carry on I know you're yeah. itching to get, I can see, she's literally itching to get her hands on it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's at me. Now then, what I want to just, I have to draw you to, because obviously, mm. let's be honest, it's going to cost us a lot of money to send these out. I need to get this across, and I'm going to keep reiterating mm. this, so that we don't have them sent back for the wrong reason. Okay, let me explain. They come in, when they're stored, they come in this bag, okay? And they've got a... Mm like an oil so yes. sometimes when you've had our our mandrels and our pliers and things they've got a surface oil a standard, on them this is a standard way of shipping um, exactly. metal objects Stop actually rusting. i mean we'll get these with it often an oil, oil coating you just wipe it off either with a little baby wipe yep. or something like that yeah and um in fact some people they put a bit of oil back on again every so often to sort of it, it's like when you, you know, buy a new frying pan Yes. And a wok. Yeah. Yes. You've got yes. to seal yes. it with oil. It's exactly to. the so, same thing. You know, it's, it's fine. to It's standard yeah. to do that. It's, it's, it's done for the protection of the mandrel. Okay? So I just need to stress that. For no other reason than it will stop it from rusting in storage. It's that simple. So when you get it, like Alison said, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh. What is seriously oh. wrong with me? <laughs> what is seriously <laughs> wrong with me? <laughs> I w I'm going to change my name now. It's every fine. time I do this yeah. now, I quite like the name Every time I do this, I'm giving you a pound. Every time. <laughs> yes. You're going to walk out with it with 50 quid. Well, that'll be worth it. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so. <laughs> I, I just might as well just give you my wages and that. But yeah, please, please, please. I'm going to keep mentioning this because I don't want you to get. We don't want to get to, um, the mandrel home with that oiling on and you go, ooh, I don't like that. Just wipe it with a it's baby wipe. It's just a mineral oil and yeah, yeah, some paper towel. Yes, tissue. A little baby wipe is fine. Yeah. So, we started with 149. We've never had them before. What kind of price point do you think? We've less than half the socks gone. Okay. What sort of price point do you think? Honestly, for a mm. piece of kit like the, I wish I could the get it to feel alone, it. The metal alone, the manufacturer, the shipping across... I dread to think, shipping. you know. I mean, when you think it's been, you know, shipped Cute. across the world and, yeah. and all these other things. And it's a huge, it's, it's huge. lovely. And the fact is, don't worry about it being a heavy object because it's, that means it's substantial. And many people, you can either sort of clamp them in a clamp 
Uh -huh. uh, or you can literally work with them between your legs, basically, or onto a surface. Yeah. No, but that, it's like a vice with your legs, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I probably would have to do that. Yeah. And you think, you know, it's a bit funny, but you know, you just basically put them between the legs and then then work on them. Yeah. Or put them onto a surface and work on yeah. them. But, but you can hammer you know, onto them, can't you? Can you're going to show. You, you're desperate to hammer onto this. I can see it. Um, Rachel. So the round you got is it oval or round first one. This is the round so, we're so doing basically first. Basically, for that you, we can make them into cut, into bangles, mm -hmm. and then you can use it to shape shape your wire around. So it's so easy. Okay. Immediately you've got this this shaping, and then you use the raw hide mallet, mallet if you don't want to. If you want your wire to stay round, use a raw hide hand, hide mallet, and and hit it to your size that you want to okay. to, to hit it to. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. And if you want a flat, uh, a, a, a textured surface, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can use a, um, a hammer. And I've got only got my small, my two ounce hammer with me. I haven't got my big hammer. So you can use a, a bigger hammer and then you probably won't miss the wire like I'm doing. Okay. okay. So use a bigger face hammer and then you can get that, that flat. Mm -hmm. But I think if you want to make a nice round wire bangle, raw hide is fantastic. And yep. you can see when it comes off, it's, I just haven't hit that bit, sorry. Okay, so I right. see. You'll be amazed at the price. You'll be amazed. But it's circular and it's beautifully circular. Yeah, exactly. And I haven't hit all the way around. Yeah, well, we haven't given you and, long enough with it, have we? And that, that'll make you bang up. And if you've soldered or wired the end and you push it down, you can, you can really make it circular. Mm -hmm. um, like and all that. the different sizes because oh, of the it's way fantastic. it's tapered. So um, you can always use a bit of marker pen, uh, you know, a bit of um, permanent marker pen mm -hmm. with this. Uh, and, and mark your, your measurements if yes, you wanted to. Yes, yeah, of course uh, you can. And go back to it. Uh -huh. And if you want to, if you've got a, a wider piece of metal, uh, like a flat band, you mm -hmm. see this is great for shape. All you do is you do it and then you turn it over because it's tapering. Yeah. Um, so you don't get a tapered edge and okay. then you bang it around again. So you just basically do that and, that and that and work work with it. Brilliant. But it's fantastic. Pre you can see how circular that is. Yeah. Pre warn your posty. Because they're going to go, what on earth? Have you ordered? Okay, so it's been on pre-order, and the reason everybody's checking out is because it's been on pre-order at twenty-four ninety-five. Gosh! But do you know what? We're going to give you That's all. Still on it. Actually, when I get, they asked me to guess the price. I went higher. What did you say, I honestly? Said Twenty-nine pounds. Twenty-nine pounds for jewelry yeah. maker. Yes, okay. because I thought that was the weight of the metal. Just going on the quality. Okay, went, I agree. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so um yeah as rachel said we'd, we'd look at the round for the the bangle and we've got the oval for the cuff uh, would you all like an extra saving yeah would you everybody's like yes please okay we're actually going to take 20 percent off that 20 percent off that price Gosh. don't need to quite frankly <laughs> but we're doing it That's pretty we've good. agreed we've negotiated a bulk mm, buy deal we bought 149 19.95 very good very good isn't it it's good isn't and, and it it's, rachel it's gonna last your career isn't it you mm -hmm. know and if you're um that's your jewelry making career <laughs> and you can that was exactly right what? if you're on a stand and you're um and you can basically put your um, display it's all the way down yeah. and uh, you know and it's substantial enough to sort of stand on a, st on a stall exactly. and it's going to look really edgy as you're, as you're displaying mm. your brain. Uh, yeah. Absolutely right. So it's going to yeah. look really cool. Mm. Um, now, you said um, you, now we had 149, mm. less 30. Okay, less than 30. So, can I just, uh, we do have the oval to come. Now, you said oval for cuff. I was going to have a go with a spoon. I know it's silly. No. Is this your own spoon or a, a, an immediate media jewelry maker spoon? I jewelry maker spoon. I was going <laughs> to. Let's go. 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 let us go well, it's taking a good whack in that, isn't it? This is with a spoon. <laughs> Get your silver spoons out and have a go. And then you've got to make a bracelet. And this is a small one. We, we can make a, <laughs> a little spoon bracelet. <laughs> but you need a bigger spoon, like a dessert spoon. I didn't, I didn't dare nick one of those. I wasn't going to do that. I thought I'll take one of the teaspoons. 
I know. But you can do, you can I make a you. beautiful bracelet out of a teaspoon. I gotta be serious if because you people want. do, and, they, and actually, and silver, a silver lot of silver forks. teaspoons and forks. forks. You could make the most amazing bracelet out, out of it, and it's and it hasn't marked it at all. And I've been bashing away. So honestly, and that's the sound from the casting, by the way, that's coming out here. Yeah, don't that's worry about that. Yeah. So, right, so that, can we mm. can we just mention again? In the bag, when it comes, there'll be an oily residue, like when you seal your wok or you seal your mm. so, your frying pan. Actually, you do it. It's it's good for the, that's what. So all you need to do is when you get it out the don't, don't go. Ooh, what? Ooh, I don't like that. Sending it back. No, 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 no. Because the next one that will come will be exactly the same. Okay. And we don't want. Let's think about health and safety with the postal person. We don't want to have somebody carrying all that to yours back again, back again. And I'll be honest, it's going to cost us a fortune. Let's be honest. Once you get this, mm. we don't mind footing the bill to a degree. You know, once you paid your post and back in today, you're done. Remember as well. We're oh, part of a group as well. I mean, the group can share the cost, and then you can. Um, mm. I know there's some people um, are teaching, or they're in a group, mm. and they'll they'll yeah. maybe use it at their at their groups as well. Do you know what else? What? Do you know what else? <laughs> if you buy today, Rachel. If you buy with us today, right, Rachel. I'm trying to get it in there. Okay. If you buy today, right, anything, no minimum I spend, write it on my head, Rachel. <laughs> right. We will send you a flyer with your order. Oh. On that flyer, mm -hmm. Rachel, mm -hmm. is a discount code. Oh. Redeemable, yes. Rachel, till the 18th of April. Mm. Gosh, and we will good. give you mm. £10 off a £40 spend. That's not bad. Well, that's Rachel. Not bad. That's your postage and other things yep. and another thing. Yep. <laughs> now then, <laughs> I'm just going to... Do you know this? I mean, bear in mind. Well done, you know everybody. Oh, yeah. gosh, you're well done. These are nearly gone. Gosh. Nearly gone. Yes. Well. Oh, can I mm. be honest? If you were at home, would you have bought those? I would, yes, I would. I've, I only, got wooden, I've only got wooden ones, so oh, I wouldn't mind one of these. But there we go. No, hang on a second. No, hang on a second. I'm now saying we're over allocated. So just a heads up to Joan, Helen, Collector in Wiltshire, Susan, Jesse, Collector, Collector in Herefordshire, Linda, Brenda, Mary, Kelly, Collector in Health. I don't have that many left. Just saying. Now, Michael, mm. we'll move on to the oval for the cuffs. Mm. What is in that bag? What is on that mandrel that you need to wipe off? An oily residue. An, An oily, oily residue. residue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to get that across. Okay. And it's just to stop the mandrel from rusting when Rachel it's in storage. Norris. Yes. And there'll be a bit of sand <laughs> inside that's due to part of the casting process. So don't yes, worry, so don't worry about that. Out, yeah. out and it's not been on the beach. <laughs> just a bit of sand. Okay. Yeah, like that. And that'll go eventually. So let's move on to the oval. Yes, the oval. Okay, and that's, I mean, our wrists are oval, so some people will like, um, prefer a, a circular bangle, and some people like an oval cuff. Like an oval. See, like an oval cuff. So, you as well, yes, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I'm less likely to, exactly. yeah, and you can, ha often when it's got the, you only want the joint to be, you know, when it's a adjustable one, you want the joint to be here, and the main thing on the show. I wonder, so. what, I, I wonder, wonder what Alison prefers. <laughs> Rachel prefers the oval. I wonder what Alison wants. <laughs> Just got to get that one in there. <laughs> but there, got a lovely oval one. Yes. I was wondering whether I could. So yeah. I'm going to show you the end of the oval. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So the oval OZGX39. Oh, somebody said how, how long are they? 15 inch. And the end, of, if you look at the other end as well, because that's kind of good as well, because that shows you the overly shape. Oh, yeah. I said it is oval wristy shape. Like yeah, I think the ca I think the camera because it's squishy, you know how the widescreen does a thing. Mm -hmm. That's more oval than it looks on the camera. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. does, yeah. Now we've got a bit of a. Oh, I see this system tonight is driving us mad, isn't it? It's driving us mad. Now, it's good and it's bad. The the kind of slight bad news is that we were supposed to stay at twenty four ninety five for both of the both of the mandrels. I'm just going to put it out there and to prove the point. The system will not, it is saying computer says no, won't change it from 2495. Mm. However, now Liam, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not having somebody being able to buy the round one at 1995 and then like me and Rachel that want to buy the oval one having to pay five pounds more. That's not happening. <laughs> so I'll tell you what would what? I've got an idea. You've got an oh, idea? Right. So people can actually fix this to their desk if they get like a paper towel holder. I'm talking about the pricing. Can you just wait a minute? Oh. Can you just wait for a minute, Michael? Oh. Sorry, Michael. But, you know, I'm just explaining about the pricing. Oh. Then you can <laughs> join in. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I know you're in your own little world. Just quickly, though, 
<laughs> what we'll do is we will make sure that we go into your order for you. You can get the round mandrel and the oval mandrel for 19.95 each. Okay? Can you put? Do you know how to put a little strap line at the bottom? Could you do that just to prove the point? Because I, I would mm. want it in writing. I would want it in yeah, writing. And just explain when you. Yes. Call them. They yeah. should be fine. It'll come in. We will go in and manually change the order down to 19.95 okay i promise you faithfully 19.95 is the price that you will be charged for both the rounded mandrel and the oval mandrel okay remember as well same concept comes in a plastic in a, a plastic bag yet what well, i say you know in one of those comes in that Cell is it cellophane it's it's sort of, of, yeah. cellophane oh, mm, yeah so mm, yeah sort of you know cellophane um <laughs> residue oil residue to stop it from rusting when it's in storage just wipe it off okay wipe it off paper towel baby wipe baby wipe's good yes baby, baby wipe's wipe fine if you got one mm. you don't have to have a baby you can just have some baby wipes can't you they're very handy to have they're very handy. do you know mm. what they do do you know what they're, they're good for as well cleaning everything yeah mm. front of my cooker mm. the only thing i can get off these mm. marks on the front of my cooker is a baby wipe because mm. i know slightly well they, they get what they get and get off a baby they can Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel? Oh, I've got, I've got an image now, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Aww. Oval. Oh, so the call centre are aware. Okay, we rang the call centre, do not worry. If you check out now, you will get 19.95 for the oval mandrel. OZGX39. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are so cheeky, Michael Wolf. Okay, right then. Now, Michael Wolf, would you like to come on camera? Oh, yeah. And explain, come around this way because you won't get in otherwise. Oh, no. We've got oh, an idea. Have well, you well, seen what I've left from Oh, he's, he'll be alright, I'll be alright. Oh, don't worry. Okay, okay. So I've been rushing my brains yeah, to work out. Hello, 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 my name's Michael Wolf. Hello, hello, Rachel. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> hello, Zena. Hello. Hi, Tom. Okay. So, you have, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you interrupted me at the wrong time. Well, I was, I was trying to work out in my head how I'd fix it to the desk because some people might not be able to have, you know, two hands to actually work it. So, if you have, some people have a metal desk, you can actually weld it, which I don't know how to weld, so. But if you have a wooden desk, you can get like a, a paper towel rack, maybe nail that to the or actual desk. Clamp, or a G-clamp. And um, then you can put, yes. yeah, basically Rachel's put it Rachel's just come up with a better idea than you. A G-clamp. <laughs> over that one. Like Rachel came up with a better idea really than you. Really large desk like Why bring me on, then? Well, I don't know. It's all a, it's all a rig isn't it? G-clamp. Oh, G-clamp. Okay, G-clamp. What's a G-clamp? I know what G-clamp is. G-clamp or a C-clamp. And it, there's, you can get, it's a, it's desk, like a large desk vice. Mm -hmm. And just put a bit of... Um, Attach that to the desk and a large bit of cardboard, like a cereal packet or something. Just to kind of mould like, around it. Wedge it in. And yeah. um, I'll be, yeah, just make sure it's really tight before you start using it because okay. otherwise it'll. Um, might hurt you a little bit if, it, okay. if it's not loose, if it's loose. And if you want to put two G clamps along it, but that's Ooh. how you. Yeah, they but yours is a really good idea. Well, that you know. was, it was, it was, it, it was, was yeah. do you know what, do what it did is, yeah. I think it mm. started us along the right thought yes. process, didn't yes, it, yeah. Rachel? What you do. I mean, that <laughs> <laughs> we need lateral thinkers in this world, though, we do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not yeah, one of them. We do. We, no. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm really not. I'm really not a lateral thinker, Rachel. <laughs> Are you distressed? I've not called you Alison yet this hour, <laughs> have I? <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> okay, we'll draw the Okay. Right then, I'm just going to say, when you've all checked out, oh, hurry up, won't you? I mean, there's Brenda Collector, Susan Ilva Collector, Erlis, Erlis, Julie Collector, I hope I pronounced your name wrong, I'm sorry if I haven't. Um, Jonathan, Linda, Janet, Victoria, Janet, Steffi, that's just the basketeers, that's just the basketeers. Well done. I've got less than 20. I started with 149. Okay, remember, I've got to say it again, I'm sorry, but I do, I cannot send these out without one person packaging. Cover the cost and then have them sent back if there's any, any discrepancy over the fact that they, they will come in mm. this little packet. They will come with an oily residue. <laughs> okay? It's going to put a flower in it, flower in it like a vase. But I couldn't, but I couldn't, did, I couldn't you, break it. But that. you didn't realise <laughs> that they didn't come out, did you? <laughs> hey? Hey? That's amazing. <laughs> like it? They're real, them flowers, look. They're real. <laughs> 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 that would have been f if only we had a flower. I know. If only we had a flower. An edgy daffodil just stuck in there. That'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's some for bracelet mandrel. Yeah. Oh, we, we haven't done the demo in the kit. Are we? Oh gosh. Rachel. Yes. Rachel. Oh, no. oh. <laughs>
Where's Nikki? I was, you know, I, I'm going to go home and make something out of a silver... I've got some silver uh, cutlery that are left to me by my... And they're upstairs. That you're going to do I've that with a mandrel now, aren't you? Yes, I oh, make, yeah. uh, if there's any left, I'll order one and then see if I can make... I mean, I know people make these beautiful things out of forks and spoons and things and, you know, sterling silver. Do me a favour here at Immediate Media. We've got a fork thief. Please don't take a fork from here, because honestly, don't mind with the spoons, the fork. Honestly, every time we go and have our lunch, there's no fork. It's like, it's like, um... There's a fork, ghost. Yeah, I don't know. like that, and then... What did it? <laughs> wow, that fork. was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I like mischievous Rachel. I like it. It's good. That's kinky evening Rachel. Rachel. Sorry, evening, evening show, Rachel. Yeah, <laughs> come on, evening show again. Rachel, she's kinky. Uh, right, water, watering the flowers. You need to water the flowers, don't you? I'm going to race through this kit because we want to get on a demo. We need to see the joy. We're just going to get it in, okay? Because, just to mention, I'm going to run through the ingredients as quickly as I can, if I may. Okay? So, to show you those. Okay, we've got 10 metres of silver plated copper white in 0.4, 10 metres in 0.8, 10 metres in 1 mil. We then have Mayuki Galvanised Silver Seed Beads 11.0 and Transparent Light Tea Rose in 8.0 and we have beautiful 4mm faceted peridot rounds and beautiful smooth blue quartzite 4mm mm. rounds again. Okay, I'm racing through these because I know you're all going to be saying we want to see Rachel's jewellery, we want to see Rachel's demo and we can do that. Okay, HJXE69 should be 48.15. Liam... Could you pop it down for the most amazing, amazing price saving? Okay? Under £30. Mm. Lovely. Okay, under £30. Pounds. Right. Mm. Okay. If you don't mind, I don't want to feature on, f focus on the ingredients. I want to show you this, these designs. Oh. Well, that's what you can make with them. I mean, I um, added a bit of... 0.25 and yeah. things like that and I added some things in but um, essentially the kit will enable you to sort of put, put the it's the colours because they're such they're really lovely colours and really spring light really fun really, which made me think of fun designs made yeah. me think of um, my daughter wanted me to make a, a teapot with, with a cup and things and yeah. it, this, I could easily you could make that the design into a teapot and a uh -huh. cup uh, as well but I went for gardening because that's what we're all starting to think about at this time of year we're yeah. starting to get back into our gardens yeah and, and um, so I had fun. I made a little Shuffling. garden forks and things that you find in the garden. Yeah. And Watering can and flowers and snails. And and that's the fun it, part of it. And then yeah. you've got the real statement bridal. So you can go mm. up to the, the level of what you're walking down the aisle with oh, the gosh, other one. Yeah. And it, I just wanted to show because it's a while work weekend. Yeah. I tried to show you the two-dimensional... The versatility yeah. of the shapes and forms you can make, Beautiful. and then the building up to all structural forms, and then the 3D with the elephant, and so you've got all these possibilities with wire. Oh my word! And colour, and I love combining wire with the gemstones and beads. I know Alice and Terry does, so I don't. That's why I love being compared to that. Oh. That's what her you, thing. Now, she, what are you doing to me? She loves, she loves <laughs> colour and sea beads and wire, and so do I. And and that's um, one of the things we really do both love doing, <laughs> and. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, so it's the versatility, the potential, the amazing uh, yeah. shapes and forms and Cannot the beauty wait. of working yeah. with wire. So, um, if, uh, the colour lily lilies I've done in demonstration before, I've written tutorials for them. Uh, the fuchsias in one of my DVDs yeah. I've done before and we've done uh -huh. lots of flowers. So I wanted to do something a bit more fun and, and do a little watering can. Beautiful. And the other person who I think would love making something like this is someone like, like Gemma Hawks. Because so, yeah. Gemma Hawks has that sort of iconic fun design she does, and yeah. you know that's um you know yeah yeah it's, Absolutely. it's another person i'd like to be compared to is gem as well and claire look, and all the gems look. she's, <laughs> think she's trying to earn it yeah well, i think she's trying to earn extra money because i said if i say alison again i'm going to give you a pound did you see how she's surreptitiously throwing an alison yeah, there yeah, exactly. i spotted it okay right while you check out the kit it's a limited kit 29.95 i know you all want to watch a demo from rachel so rachel well, i was going to say i've given you some fun templates to work with to make the other little designs that we won't have time to show you today Great. so if you want to make a snail and a butterflies and the garden forks and things like that yep. and the ladybirds yeah i've also photographed um say the ladybird because the ladybird is a little bit of folding wire onto itself so you can like work it out and have a go okay so that there are you can have fun with those if you print okay. them out brilliant make, make thanks for doing the templates that's, that's the really 0 kind 0.8 wire mostly um, mm -hmm. that so for example there's a little fork and there's the ladybird 
and the snail and things like that. So you can make those shapes and we've got a photograph of those. Brilliant. Um, so you can, um, can zoom in and have a little look and, and have a go Thank make those. Because those, if you're starting off making wire, these shapes are fun to make and they're yeah. not too, you know, involved. Not too intimidate, and, intimidating, you know, aren't they? Yeah, and you can make, yeah. a, you know, then those little charms, it's lovely. And then, then we're going to go into the watering can, which you could easily, I reckon, adapt to make a teapot. You just yeah. have to shape the spout a bit. So imagine you could, you could. Ne next step is make a teapot with them. Okay. So sorry. It's okay, just, then. Thank um, you. Put these out here. Mm -hmm. The technique's really, really simple, or similar to the other. Um, Elephant. Kit. Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we make a, a shape. Now I'm not going to go through making these shapes and this shape because mm -hmm. we sort of know. Um, if you'll have a photograph like this, and I've probably put too many flowers on, but there's the main washing. Oh, no, that's why, because that's for the earring. That's why. That's for the earring. Yeah. And that's for the main watering can. Okay. Okay, so those are the shapes you need to make for the earring and the watering can there. Okay, so, brilliant. Um, that's why I did that. So, first of all, I'm going to make you a shape of the watering can. Okay. And then you can do that. Yes, please. I don't need a butterfly. To take those shapes away that I don't need. So I'm going to take um, about 50 centimetres. For the elephant, I used about, um, by the way, about 80 centimetres. Okay. It doesn't matter if you use too much because I always use them to make jump rings and things like that. So, first of all, where do I start? Um, I know, I started at the base. I am losing it now, I'll be fine. So I started at the base to make a curve. I did make the curve straight away mm -hmm. at the base and then I worked up either side. So, first of all, um, again, I'm going to put hard board underneath because if you work on a macrame board on a piece of paper that you've used as a template, these templates are really useful. I'll come back okay. to them years later and they're there. Um, like that, that's going to help. Do a bite. Sorry about that, that was horrible. Bite, it's not a bite. It's Might need you to tell what it not, not need to not just move bite. your left it's a bit. It's a little turn, okay. of, a little turn of the wire, and I made a little sharp bend to make a, um, a diagonal side. Okay. And the same thing for the other side. Again, keep that curve at the base of the washing can. Another bend outwards. Again, clamp either side to make the bend sharp. Mm -hmm. Out to the side to make the spout. Down to make a little curve of um, the, the bit where the, what's it, spout? Is it the funnel or the spout? spout. Pouring spout, spout, I spout, suppose, where isn't the it? Little, yeah. Where the water sort of cascades out of a little sort of sieve. Um, and make a little curve again, down. And I'm now going to pick it off the paper and push the wire inwards. Mm -hmm. Hold, clamp to where you want, close to where you want to bend pull upwards and you start to form the spout. Okay. Put it back down. Now you don't want the spout completely parallel, so I'm going to slightly pull it apart a little bit. Make another bend for the top. Yep. For the top of the... I'm putting this wire above it because I want that, that to sit above it for a minute later on because I want that to be able to work on that. Mm -hmm. Top part of the handle. And then a little loop. Clamp. Take it off the paper, use round nose pliers and make a loop, whatever size you want, but that's the sort of the position where it would it would hang properly to pour. And so you had to I had to sort of pick it up and then work out where it would hang. And the beads will help it hang once you've done a little cascade of beads. And the beads are just made out of wrap loops, mm -hmm. um, it's like a rosary link down of, of these cascade of of beads. Okay. So out to that. Now I'll do the other side, up to the top of the can, another sharp bend, using my fingers to make a curve, another sharp bend down, pick it up, short distance from the top, make another sideways bend, another sideways bend upwards, okay. 180, what, 90 degrees, then pull that round mm -hmm. so that it follows the other handle and make sure you make sure they follow a little bit more closely than that okay and if they don't just sort of shape this one with tiny little tweaks until it, it till it it is exactly the right curve the mm -hmm. same as the other one yeah it's not the end of the world because you can reshape it as you weave it anyway and then and cut the wire tails mm -hmm. and there whoops daisy so that's the watering can lovely so you've got a watering can in shape like this okay and you just curl the ends. You know curling techniques. I've showed you with the other you technique. Did. 
and then we're just going to hammer and I'll show you where to hammer okay yes please oops daisy steel block and I love these two ounce and one ounce hammers. You can get these small faced hammers. Mm -hmm. You get the raw hide hammer to work with a mandrel. Yep. And these small two ounce and one ounce hammers, they are on the website. So if you look on the website, there are these, the, the, there are some in stock when I last looked. So ah. the one ounce and two ounce hammers. Okay. Um, and have a look for those because they're fabulous for getting to small spaces. So have a look on there and to add them to the order if you can. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to pull this out slightly and all I'm doing, the only bits I'm hammering are, let me just check, let me just check, sorry, is the, um, the back okay. of the loops and you ha I hammer at the back only because any hammer marks will appear at the back, not the front. And the, the loop, and that's all you need to hammer, the rest of it you need it fairly round so you can wrap along it. Okay. The other shapes you need to make are a loopy loopy shape, like there's lots of little loops mm -hmm. and you do those by making little loops and then I'll make a tiny bit of one and just to show you mm -hmm. techniques so that you don't, just the start of it. Okay, lovely. And you just basically sharp bends upwards with chain nose, tip, I always work with the tips of them, up, round around nose plier. Like that. Mm -hmm. To the shape, the size and shape of the little stone you want, or the, the smile key. Another bend upwards, yeah. and I, because it's not point eight, you don't have to do much more than that really. Okay. And then round. If it's one, you might need to do a squeeze here to pull them together. The one mil, yeah. Yeah, so that's okay. that's all really. So make of those. Can I just quickly mm. mention we have just loaded onto the online for you the um, round nose and the chain nose pliers. Okay, they're both there, eight ninety five. All right, we've just popped those on, on, on for you. Okay. okay, sorry, Rachel. That's all right, don't be sorry at all. So with this one, um, um, make that shape with three little loops, curl down, and then just hammer the curls and nothing else. Okay. And then what you need to do with that one is just um, do the same technique that we did for the elephant mm -hmm. on two of them, adding in some seed beads with... Um, 0.25 millimetre wire, crisscross wrap and wrap to the bottom, but leave that one for the minute because you need that for the attachment stage. Okay. Okay, so you've done that one. The next shape is the little shape for the spout, and that's going to fit on underneath this spout and act as loops so that you can actually hang your cascade of gemstones Lovely. from it. Okay. So, again, lots of little loops, follow that template, make some curls, and then hammer the whole thing. Okay. So just use the little dotted lines to help you gauge where the curl should be. Okay. So you've got that set. So you've got that, you've got that, you've got one of these, and then the last one is a flower. So I'm going to quickly make, you need to make two flowers, two different sizes. Okay. One little, big one, one little one. Mm -hmm. And with this little one, um, with both of them in fact, you need to wire some um, gem, uh, seed beads in. I'll quickly show you as okay. well. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to quickly show you a, a flower shape. Yep. Um, and again, I won't be able to use it. You use the template as a guide for the petals, but I haven't okay. got time because I need to be quick. Okay. Is, is to I keep on gauging it against the the template okay. petal size, yep. but I won't have time today. So first of all, point eight point um, eight wire, a little bend, and make a circle round. And this circle round will be the centre of the flower. And you need it big enough to, to hold one of the, the stones. So slightly larger for the peridot and slightly smaller for the um, for a Mayuki. So that, that little circle can be the size as long as you can fit one of your little beads in there. Next thing we need to do is make some petals. So I'm just going to very quickly, lots of little bends round, like little diamond shapes. Yep. And up and round. And... and Lots of, I mean, basically, you just make those of these little diamond shapes, pulling it okay. round near where the centre, and you can see the flower forming. Yeah. Okay, and at the end, mm -hmm. I'll pretend I've done all the petals okay. all the way around. At the end, where it's crossing the other circle, imagine I have and I haven't, grip the inner first loop and then gr and grip the wire and then mm -hmm. pull it round. Okay, so you've got one loop over the other. Okay, okay, can you see that? Yeah. And then cut that wire there. Take this away. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the finished flower, which mm -hmm. I've hammered the 
hammered the petals for. Okay. Okay. We're going to quickly wire in just a little bit of a bead just to show you how we wire the, the beads in. So use some point four. Okay. Um, because just because it's sturdy there. stuff. They're pretty. Those, those so flowers pretty. you can you can wire onto anything. A little yeah, towel, little hair or combs, little hair and it's and such a useful and technique. Yeah. And then light. The last thing you want on hair is is something that will pull mm. it down. So first of all. Um, I use a 0.4 millimetre wire a little bit and just um, loop once around maybe the central central bit of wire. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it so it fits together. And I'm going to use one of the beautiful peridots. Now peridots I thought could also fit in the elephant's eye, so if you yeah. sort of cross the kits and use the kind of the combinations, they fit very well. Mm -hmm. Thread it on, wrap to the other side of the flower, mm -hmm. pull tight, and now. You just need to cinch these bases of the petals in. If, if you want to make the flower big, you can keep the petals wide. But if you want to make the flower small, it's very mm -hmm. easy to do that by cinching the petals in at the base yeah. and make it look small. Okay. Next thing you do, and I'm going to um, just thread on just one bead to show you. Okay. And you just go over and up to the next petal. Mm -hmm and then work your way around, and another bead, over and round, and, and imagine I'm adding beads on. Okay. And then seed beads, around. yeah? Yeah, seed okay. beads, yeah, yep. one little lemon, and round, and then when you finish, and you've added beads all the way round, just tuck, cut and tuck in the wires. Mm -hmm. But also, you can use the wire ends to bind it onto something, so you can bind that flower onto something, or you've got plenty of little attachments to chain mail outwards from, yeah. or we use it as a connector, all sorts of different things, that little flower, so okay, it's really, lovely. really useful. So the end point you have is, a peridot wired in with some seed beads and you can see how I've, I've worked it at the back and tuck mm -hmm. it in the wire at the back. Okay. Um, that's that piece okay. and then you have a small one like so. So you've got the flowers made. Okay. We're now going to go through detailing a little bit about how we attach the spout to the... Okay. Um, spout to the... Um, watering can? Thing. Yes, watering can. <laughs> So I might not be able to get your name right, but I know I can help you with this, with the demo. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is just basically join that bit on like, like so. Okay. And I'll start it off and then we'll talk Brilliant. through it because you can see the finished one there. Yeah. And I'll just start it off because I want to talk through the next bit as well. So okay. I've just, I've used 0.25 for this one actually, um, but you can use 0.4 quite easily. Okay, great. So I'll use a little bit of 0.4. The only thing with a 0.25 is you can do a crisscross wrap with these beads, but with the point four, you just ha it, the wire will only go through once, so you basically look, bring it across across the back of the piece and up mm -hmm. to, to wire in these beads. Okay. So put this little curly spout in behind here, mm -hmm. and in fact, actually, do you know what? It's easier just to um, wrap a little bit to start it off. Wrap it along the frame. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit to start it off. So this is quite good. It's showing how you can wire. Uh, it's an exercise in showing how you can wire another piece of wire onto another on, onto a frame. So mm -hmm. you can make all these lovely shapes and attach them into to the main frame just to add detail. So you don't have to make it all from one shape of wire. You can add in these frames to one to the other. So you can see how I've placed this in between and behind, and you can start to bind it on. You see already you've got these loops and because you're wrapping all the way around, there's going to be strength in this and it's going to be able to take the beads coming from one uh, from the base as yeah. a little cascade of, of the water. Looks lovely, doesn't it? So as you go along, yeah. and now just wire, wire along the frame okay. and then wire to the side and push this out so that it lies directly underneath that other little shape and then wire around both. I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to get, go to the, the main piece and you can talk through it, if I don't mind. So what I've done is I've wrapped all the way along here and then what I've done then is add some beads in and then you and wrapped up either side, okay. add another bead in and I've cut the longer end, the shorter end of wire. Then with the longer end of wire I've done a basket weave all the way up the spout. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hold the frame in place yeah. to stop it. As you pull, you've got a bit of tension. You might pull this up so that it's, it ends up being parallel mm -hmm. or too tight. Mm -hmm. So make sure you hold the wires and these little beads, putting them in place as you go, help to space it out and stop it pulling in as you as you weave with the tension. 
Um, 0.25 is a nice lighter wire to start off with yeah. if you want to weave and not pull frames in together. Okay. The 0.4 will take a bit more work, so I recommend using a bit of 0.25. Start with 0.25, okay. Okay, so then you've got this, and with the finished one, which I'll have to get... Yes, please. Um, just to show you, we're going to work on, work on adding in all the other details. Thank you, my darling, you're yes, lovely. Design. Thank you. So you can see what I've done. So you've got a lot more, and I'm going to show you, there's another weaving technique here. I'll show you a little bit of that. And also, just like we bound in with the elephant, we're just going to do a little bit of work on here. So um, what we're going to do first, I'll get to put a point four okay. and just do a little bit on this, but not the whole thing. Okay. You can see how I've um, bound on. In fact, actually, if you want to bring... I'm going to do a little bit of the weave, then you could bring something on. Shall, I, shall we do that then while yes. you get ready for the day? Okay, let's yeah. do that then. And then, and then, and then I'll show you. And then, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, idea. great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to start the weave and add it in. Okay. But we've got some lovely things to yep, show you. Brilliant. No problem, my lovely girl. Okay, so if I bring these in now for you, this is the sterling silver. Mm. So sterling silver wire will bring you, because we've tried to bring you every kind and gauge and type and colour and rope and textured and, oh my goodness me, we've tried to bring you everything today. But actually what we've got for you now is we're going um, super posh. We're going to give you five metres of 0.4 mil. We're going to give you a metre of 0 0.8 and a metre of 1 mil. Oh, ding dong. Goodness me, that is very impressive. Uh, that is seven metres in total. Sterling silver, the code is UEXC51. I think you'll be surprised at this. I really do. Oh, so you can make the watering can up in the silver, couldn't well, you? Couldn't you just? Yeah, That's what we thought. Some charms. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Yeah, if you want to actually go into yeah, sterling practice silver. Practice in this and then do some. Yeah, yeah. be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, practice with the silver plate and mm. then, uh, then do it in sterling silver. Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay, now then, we're not stopping there. I'm going to give you a huge saving again, despite the fact that it's sterling silver white in three amazing gauges. Structural 1 mil, structural 0.8 and wrapping 0.4. 24.95. That's a saving of £13, that is. £13 saving. It's very impressive, isn't it? That's a lot of wire there in sterling silver in three different gauges. Obviously, because as, as mm. Alice... Uh, Rachel... I nearly oh, did it again. Oh, I stopped myself. I stopped pound myself. Pound it's a pound, isn't it? 50p. Should I give you 50p? Because I did a half of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit of a deal going on. I'd managed for nearly 45 minutes then. I was quite proud of myself. 50p. I shall throw at you in your, in your, in your purse. It might cost you more than that. <laughs> <laughs> what a <right>, snorter. <laughs> she, I tell you what, she's snorted at I me do. now. I don't blame her, though. <sighs> uh, yeah. Anyway, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 1 mil. Yeah, sorry about that. 24.95, there you go. Um, and just quickly, before I go back to Rachel, before I come back to Rachel, we pop oh. these in the show today at an all-time lowest ever price point. Should be 6.95, we've gone to 4.95. Just to, if you weren't watching earlier, do... Check these out, CJZX93, it's the mini macrame board. It has never, ever, ever in the history of the macrame board been taken to 4 .95. It's always 6 .95. Occasionally we've bundled it with the large and done you a sneaky cheeky deal, but on its own, lowest ever price on the Late Show this evening, we have got the mini macrame board for 4 .95. All right then, I can show you this weave now. So I've started off and um, adding a piece of wire here, you can cut that little tail off and tuck it in quite okay. easily. Um, and I've done a five by three um, simple weave, and it's a lovely weave actually, to yeah. add beautiful detail onto things. You s make sure you space things out with maybe a fingernail. Can you show that to camera too? Do you mind, Roger? Oh, yeah. Just so that we yeah. can see the disc, because yes. that's a beautiful weave. Mm. So I space things out with the fingernail as I've gone to stop the weave pulling. Uh, as, you, as you wrap across, you can pull both together. So I'm going to wrap three around here. Can you see? Three, two, one, one two, okay. three. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then three around just the outer frame. Mm -hmm. Five around the outer frame, sorry. Two, three, four, five, then three. 
I'm used quite a bit of long bit of wine. I haven't used quite enough. If you have tried in, um, add in around near the loop, it's quite a good spot. Okay. Two, three, and basically, to, what you need to do every so often, push things together. Use your pliers to push it together, and also squash these gently so you don't fracture the wire flat. So it makes a really nice detail. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get to near to the loop. Okay. Five, and then three across. And then we can add wire on the flower, and you can either use um, the wire from when you put the beads on the flower, or if you've run out of that, you can use this to wire it on, it doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry. Imagine you've gone on to the end of the um, here, there. But what I'm going to do is just wire this on, so this adds a little bit of detail. So I'm pressing my finger over, and you see this is a smaller flower, just wires in, and you can use that yep. back up through, and I'll try and catch it through on the petals. I'm doing this really sort of badly, but um, you get the, 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 the fit. you've got plenty of spaces to actually yeah. wrap this onto. And it sort of hides that loop and makes it a little bit more mysterious as to where it's where yeah. it's, it's hanging from. Sorry, so I'm a lovely. So just buying that flower on better than I am at the moment. There. So do that and then cut and tuck in the wires at the back. Okay. So I've done. I pretend I've done that. So that's the flower wired on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut those away because I don't want them in the way of the next bit of demo. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a bit of, of the detail on. Okay. So um, we have one of these and a flower. And you could do a heart. I mean, yeah, um, you could easily put a heart in the centre like that. Yeah. Or a wire writing name or something mm. beautiful like that. Or nice. a butterfly that could fit into the centre quite happily. Yeah. You know, all these sort of shapes. Mm -hmm. But um, what we're going to do is just, um, you do need to bind this onto the base. Okay. So I'm going to bind this onto the base um, if you want to bring something else yeah, on. Yeah, of course. Why not? I, I, tell you what, I, tell you, I tell you what I will just mention, if I may. The oh, mandrels... Yes. Just to mention, the mandrels are practically sold out. Okay, we'll bring the, back, the graphics back in. We've got the round, which is this one. Now, these are brand new tonight. We had 149. Um, they will come packaged like this. Brand new, 15-inch, solid. These are absolutely not... We've never had them before. And we've taken them down to 19.95. Real substantial piece of kit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do be aware that when we bring you the oval, it will be $19.95. I know it says $24.95. Please don't let that put you off. $19.95. Call centre and manually changing all the orders. They're aware of it. It's not a problem. Okay. Mm. I need an update, please. Liam, how many left of $149 available? Okay. There were, as I said earlier, there were less than 30 available. I've got way over 30 of you with it in your baskets. Um, so if you all check out... I am in a minus situation. Gosh, okay. lucky thing, so. Don't forget. I'll tell you, Rachel's desperate oh, to get these, aren't you? Well, I'll have to just have to... Keep your keep fingers crossed. Keep my silver crossed. spoons in their drawer. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Okay, well. Now, as Rachel was saying earlier, and she proved with the, with the rawhide mm. hammer, you can, you can hammer onto these. Mm. The real, yeah, as I really said... Good. That, we, we aren't going to change the post and packaging. Once you've paid your post and packaging, that will be sent to you. The thing I will just mention again, and I do have to keep reiterating this because I don't want anybody to be um, confused. It will come in packaging like this. It will have a, an oil residue uh, over the whole of the mandrel. What you need to do, get yourself some uh, paper towel, but ideally like a baby wipe. Take that off. That is like when you season a frying pan or a wok. It's there to protect and stop it from rusting. That's what it's there for. So, and stop it rusting when it's in storage. So do me a favour, when you take the mandrel out of the packaging, just take that oil residue off. No point sending it back and ordering another one because it will come the same. Okay? I need to uh, reiterate that. Now then, Joan, Helen, Collector, Susan, Collector, Julie, Collector, Linda, Brenda, Mary, Collector, Susan, Joanne, um, Sarah, you just got it in Carmarthenshire, congratulations. Um, way way beyond over allocated way beyond and i started with 140, 149 we knew mm. they were going to be a sellout we absolutely knew so just going to mention again 1995 for the round okay we'll bring the oval in as well the oval we were, uh, 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 rachel was saying earlier ovals more for and we we prefer the oval but only because we like the oval shape on the on the wrist 
Uh, I find that you catch it less personally if I've got an oval. If I've got a rounded bangle, I tend to catch it more. I don't know yeah, why. But some I'm people just... love the rounded bangles. Yeah, I mean, some, they are yeah. beautiful as well. So, um, and you can have more movement with the bangle. Mm. So the bangle, the bangles move and they make that yeah. lovely noise. And the ovals stay where they are when you. you, you know. just start. So, this our reference. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so the oval. Oh, I know it says twenty four ninety five on the um, on the website. It's wrong. It, it will be, it's because the computer won't let us do it, but I promise you, promise you, promise you, you will be charged £19.95 for the oval 15-inch metal brand new bracelet mandrel. Okay? I've got less, uh, in fact, I'm going to be exact with you on this one. 22, 22 left, and how many in baskets? 35. So we're basically in minus 13. Minus 13. Once you've all checked out, you don't want to forget to check out, do you? No, no. not for something like this. No, no. You, you want really the set don't. as well, if you can. If you can. There's now 40 in baskets. Okay, we're down to the last. Oh, sorry now, less than 20. Less than 20 on the oval. Don't forget to come with an oily residue. Wipe the oily residue off and we'll all be happy. All right. So going back to this, um, uh, showing you the flowers, look how I made them bigger and made the connectors so just to show you there. Sorry okay. to go right into, it's all right, my right into the demonstration mode. Right. So those that I made smaller versions and are connectors on the necklace. So I should have said that, shouldn't I? But there we go. So what I've done is taken the flower and started to wire it onto that last central bit that you didn't um, have a, uh, a stone little um, seed bead added in. And you have to hold both really carefully and do about four or five of these little wraps. And then add in, add in a, a little bead. Um, with a crisscross wrap. Okay. And may. Oh, we'll just lose some things that you can do. Oh. oh, well, that'll teach you, won't it, for having your phone <laughs> in the studio? <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> Epic <laughs> fail. That's amazing. Sorry, Rachel. That's all right. I'd like to apologise, Rachel. That's okay. Sorry, Rachel. It's okay. Crisscross wrap. Crisscross wrap. <laughs> and then <laughs> bring that in. And then get rid of those pieces of wires once you've done. I'm probably not going to have time, so I'm going to take that away. And imagine I've wrapped down to the base. Okay. It's probably going to fall out, but don't worry about it. So now I've got this little assembly, and I'm going to put this on to the base of this watering can. It will fit okay. in like that. So you start off with, and you can see what I've done. So I'm only going to do a little bit of it just to show you. I mean, you're just basically attaching it in. Um, so a nice long bit of point four. Warm it with your hands like this, stroke along, warm it with your hands because it's very springy stuff. And then just do a few wraps along the base of the um, wire. If you find your wire is soft, which actually this wire is lovely and firm, it really makes a really nice firm frame. Just use those raw, if you've got the rawhide uh, mallet or a nylon hammer, just hammer it so you don't flatten it and it just work, work hardens it. Can I just mention, we've got about five minutes until the break, if that's this okay. Is literally, this is Brilliant. it. So I'm just going to talk. So all we need to do, just like we did with the elephant, is just um, attach this in. And you bound that detail in, like so. You bind on the other side. We're going to go to the finished piece, and I'll just talk through. OK, brilliant. So you can see what I've done. So um, you have formed the shape, formed the flowers, attached the flower here, um, worked on this spout, added in this detail, and it's strong enough to, to yeah. hold it angle, and woven along there. We've, we've formed this little component that we've now bound onto the base. Can you see how I've worked along? Bound here, bound here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I might hold it up to yeah, you. Yeah, that'd be great if you can show um, it in camera too. So, um, bound along the base, and then all you do is wrap up the sides, attach, attach, and binding some beads and all these other things and then cut it off when you get to the top. Wow. I'll show you the back of it so you can see as long as it's, it's got to be really neat against the skin and not hurt. Yeah. And then all you then do is have a cascade of little droplets coming from its little water spout it's and you've beautiful. got your watering can. It's a lovely detail, it it's really a bit of fun is. and it's quite nice to be humorous with jewellery yeah. sometimes and have a humorous piece. Yeah. So the templates um, for all the other little components uh -huh. on the um, Facebook page and the flowers are just bigger versions of the ones you wired on the yep. water and you can see I've done chain mail. you can see with the finished pitch you can see how I've arranged the chain mail. Yep. and you can make the bracelet up in the same way mm -hmm. um, with these um, uh, uh, pictures of uh, blah, blah, things of chain mail. I think I might have just done different petal numbers of petals on the bracelet yeah. so have a look out for how many petals okay. I've done and that's all really that -da. I love that <laughs> that's all really <laughs> Don't you love that? That's all, really. <laughs>
Wow. And the whole kit, in order for you to make that, with the blue quartzite, with the peridot, with all the silver plated white and the Mayuki uh, seed beads, is just been taken down to £29.95, free from the live show, discounted price. Should have been over £48. Should have been. But we thought, well, um, I'll tell you what, that was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. There we are. Okay. I've been taking, le there, taking lessons from Alison. Thank you so there. much, my lovely Aww. girl. OK, right then. Are we going to give this lovely lady a break, a little rest? I think she's earned it. We're mm. going to go to a little break. We're going to come back, and then we're going to give you lots of goodies before we go off air, uh, live off air, because we repeat the shows overnight until 10 o'clock. So please do stay with us if you possibly can. Mm. See you in a minute. Join us this Tuesday as Marie takes us around the world on a gemstone journey. We'll be travelling the Americas, Asia and Africa, exploring some of the world's most beautiful gemstones. That's Around the World this Tuesday on Jewellery Maker. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to tell you about Wednesday, which is going to be a really interesting day. We've got Feldspar family showcases. So the Feldspar family is a really huge family of gemstones, and it includes everything from Amazonite, Labradorite, Moonstone, Andesine, a little bit of everything. And we've got all sorts of treats for you throughout the day. So tune in on Wednesday for Feldspar family showcases on Jewelry Maker. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Hi, I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again, I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun, a lot of cake, any excuse for cake, and amazing bargains. I've selected some extraordinary items and PR offers, there will be many. So I look forward to seeing you next Thursday for my birthday show. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gem show. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Order from us today at www.jewellerymaker.com.
Hello, my lovelies. She's tidying up. I am, sorry. Oh, she can come again. She's tidying up. <laughs> Ta-da, I'm fine now. Oh, look at that. Lovely. She didn't take long to, to tidy up, oh. did she? I can tell you you're a mum. <laughs> Aren't you? I tidy up after we've eaten in restaurants. Oh, I'm, like, I'm like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm like that. Got to be neat and tidy. <laughs> uh, she's amazing. I'll put oh. my cardi on so I don't make you hot. Because <laughs> I'm always cold these days. Do you know, mm. since I've lost my weight, I can't get warm. Well, I cannot get warm. You look beautiful for it. You look so yeah. lovely. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it's past nine o'clock. She's, she's up me again. <laughs> I tell you what, honestly. I don't know what to do with myself this evening. Did you see that then? Uh, she went for a lip kiss. I did. I'm sorry, I didn't know whether you were. I, did, I always get that wrong as well. I once kissed my cousin I haven't seen for ages, <laughs> and she's really tall. And I tried to, li to do the proper mum I kiss, yeah. and I kissed her on the, on the shoulder, on the nearly <laughs> neck, and it was just, ah. she looked at me and thought, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Do you know, yes. it's, it's like Gemma, Gemma Crow when she kissed me, and it was just a little bit awkwardly too long. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she's so loving. She was so loving, though. You imagine. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Right then. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Oh. Right then. Sorry, Zena. Sorry. All right. I'm not. I'm not complaining. I really don't mind. <laughs> so, Miss. Oh, hello. I know. I've got some lovely Ooh, things. We've got some lovely things, haven't we? Rachel. <laughs> Those are lovely. Those are unicorn stones, aren't they? Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They're beautiful. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we all want uh, our lovely Rachel on the Late Show again, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. Great big block. They just look like they've been Absolutely chipped off a glacier. Lovely, yes. Or an iceberg, mm. don't they? Mm. I put them in the display, actually. I'd have that those littering around my dis display if you had them on a stall, but... Because they'd be just beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Look nice, don't they? Yes. Mystic Colour Coated Rose Quartz. Graduated hammered cubes. Now we have had these yeah. on air before at fourteen ninety five. We thought we we're going to give you some lowest ever prices. So the lowest price has ever been fourteen ninety five. How do you fancy a couple more pounds off that? It was like yeah. yeah. If you're like me, I love ice cubes. Mm. I love yes, them. Yes, 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 I do too. Yeah. yeah. So, but mm. they go ever so quick, especially <laughs> in a G&T. Yeah, they do. Don't they? <laughs> have another G&T. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> I think you've had a few, haven't you? Is that what you've had in your flask? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Kissy yeah. lips? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so, Alison doesn't kiss me like that. Sorry. Just say Yeah. I'm not complaining. Uh, Justina, um, it's only Vaughn and Annalie and Brenda and Patricia. They're just incredible. <laughs> I'm going to have this awful flashback as I go back in the car. I'll be hitting them probably around near Bristol. Around Bristol, oh, I go, oh dear. no. Yeah. Oh, we've had you kissing. We've had you talking about, I'll tell you what. Bending spoons. Yeah, biting. Anything. Those are beautiful, by the way. They are like they are iridescent are rainbows. Nicely, of... nicely moved on. Mm. Back to the jewellery. Mm. I like that. Back to the gemstone. <laughs> nicely done, Rachel. That's what Mark Smith does to me as well. Yeah. She says, like. back to the... <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to say, I'm seeing the side view and you get a lot of blue shift and it's, oh yeah. my goodness, beautiful. Well... Did you see the deal of the day today? Deals of the day no, today. because I was oh, driving. Oh, yes. talking of mm. unicorns. Oh, mm. my goodness me. Uh, In fact, Michael, mm -hmm. yeah. could you nip over there and get me that beautiful piece of jewellery, please? Yes. Thank you. Right, answer. <laughs> because you talked Is about unicorns. Di yes. <laughs> Mystic colour-coated quartz. Oh, Any. Oh, Any. Oh, the point of the paintings will be great. And the ring, that's fine. Yes, that's lovely. You've got two hands. Stop you. Mm. Put your face <laughs> Now then, oh. you said about you. I know. You said about <laughs> unicorns. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh my goodness, kingfisher <laughs> colours. And who made that beautiful jewellery? That's lovely. Our uh, uh, in-house oh. designers. Oh, well done. It's beautiful. Yep. So if you had Gosh. that, mm. fairy wouldn't, tale. wouldn't it go well? We had it in. I think we had it in the full-on mystic colour coated. Then we had it in blue, violet, yellow, mm. green, mm. hot pink, and I'm missing one. All in those lovely colours. Mm. Twelve ninety five on those. Oh yeah. Like Lower center. Yeah. Price. Thing. So you could just about go away with earrings, um, but I think a, sing a pendant, mm. just a pendant on its own, catching the Should light. Right, wouldn't it? It's lovely. Oh. Right, top. <laughs> Which one, sorry? Oh 
Julie Kerr. Yes, yep, Julie Kerr. We've got two lots. Why, we're not off. Mm. You do, so we'll do this as a star buy. Ooh, oh, you put a little cheeky bundle together, have you, Liam? Oh, you so little... I've set them into the bodies of, a, of um, kingfishers, seahorses, mm -hmm. various, you know, unicorns. You, you basically, make it, um, I've got a horse in my book, actually. Um, all you have to do is put, make it in silver with a horn in, um, on the forehead, put one of those in the body, and you've got a unicorn. Lovely. So, lovely. And that would really Unicorns work. Unicorns really are well. so popular, aren't they? Oh, well, they're just, um, they're Dreamy. such, yeah, you know, they're, they're, <sighs> they're perfect creatures, aren't they? The perfect creatures that... Um, we dream yeah, of. We... <laughs> and they're not real. <laughs> oh, no, they, of course they are. They're, they're not real. OK. Mm. They probably are in our, <laughs> in our world, aren't they? Those are coming up as a bundle at half past the hour. Lovely. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, look. Gosh, Are they sparrow? No, I'm trying to think. Well, yeah. shades of aquamarine, Marine. actually. Mm. Big, Lovely. huge, cushion shaped. That's bra a good bracelet. It um, really. I'm nice glad bracelet, you said that because I was thinking yeah. that. Two bracelets. Yeah. And, oh, love. Look at that. I know. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's bit, that is a bracelet. It really does lend itself to a nice yes, bracelet, doesn't really, it? Yes, um, really. And smooth. It yep. works around the wrist really nicely. Mm. You've got the lovely variations, and bracelets are fantastic because you can see them. Necklaces, you can't see them. Everyone else can. But that, you'd enjoy seeing them because you've got yeah. all the different um, stones and the textures, and you've got colours. I mean, the beautiful. Beautiful colours all the yeah. way around. All Magical, aren't they? Lovely, 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 lovely yeah. shades and tones. That's that's a lot of fun. You could colour, you can just randomly mix those up and it'd be yeah. it's fun. just lovely. So delicate that's and yet chunky. At least two bracelets out of that, oh, isn't it? easy, Pete. Mm. Do you know, that surprised me as well. Rachel, 14 out of four. Yeah, that's four. Um, Do you want to have an yes. idea how many you get in there? Yeah. Look at that. I, I love, know. I love those tones. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, they're lovely. One, two, three, four, five. A little five. bit of pink in that one as yeah. well. Sorry, sorry, no, it's all, no, it's all right. <laughs> uh, last of, last mm. of stock, of, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one on there. Mm. Gosh. Now they've been seventy-one p each. Shocking. We started with the last twenty-nine available on those. I don't think multicolour is the right phrase. I think multi-shade, multi-tonal. Mm. Don't think multicolour is quite the right description. It's a big, big, big carrot weight, and we are down. Well, we were down to the less twenty. Now we've got less than twenty available now. They're, they've got earthy tones, but they're really fresh. I love the mm. freshnesses, and the blues are particularly nice. I've mm -hmm. got to say, actually. Yeah. Um, from I mean, they're really beautiful, mm. gentle blue. I mean, these colours are in this season, actually. The, they are. The, yeah. um, the very soft blues, mm -hmm. and the, and so they, they'll go really well. Dove greys, things like that. I love dove grey. Mm. Yes. I love dove yeah. oh, grey. <laughs> yeah, she said, yeah, look at your cardigan, love. So, yes, you're going to see how it goes really yeah, well. Yeah, it does really pretty. Mm. Uh, as I said, I did only have 29 available. Oh no, it's sad really, isn't it, when we see things like this, because you don't know if you're going to get them again. They're nicely shaped, yeah. lovely, they're really tactile they're as well. beautiful. Have you had a little, mm. have you had a little? Well, it's actually more that they've, mm. yeah, against the skin, mm -hmm. how, how beautiful, I mean, Did how beautiful. Did you see that? She just took it off, she just <laughs> it off It's mine now. <laughs> and they're, yeah, I like that. I love that, that's beautiful. And it's, oh, substantial enough, I think I'd just love to have those as bracelets. Be, should, would you like to see, just in case, mm. to scale of the necklace? Mm. Just, to, just in case you're thinking, yes, oh, would. hello. Mm. Oh, wow. Just as nice mm. on the necklace. I know. So you have to have two strands, one for the necklace and one for God, the It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. It would. You want to do some what, sorry? Oh, bless him. Say it again. Unikite. Unikite. It's going to be interesting. Where are they? Got them in seven. Oh, lovely. Cabochons. Mmm, brilliant. Oh, I know exactly what I do with these. I know what I do. I make little tree frogs out of them. A tree so frog? A little tree frog. So they're, they're perfect as tree frog colour um, size. 
and shape. Beautiful little green and orange um, seed yeah. beads. And I haven't got my tree frog necklace with me. It's in the car. But there we are. Well, <laughs> we're down to the last 35 on these. I'm going to show you. Um, Tom? Yeah. Did you wander off with that beautiful book by Jamie? Yeah. Could I borrow it back, please? Yeah. Because there is a design in the book that we had on air today on the Late Show with Unakite, and I did mention that we'd do some Unakite for you because in that book, thank you, Tom, as if by lightning. Thank you, lovely face. Welcome. You're welcome. Well, you've been brought lovely. up well, haven't they? It was at the back, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, oh, my goodness, yes. Uh, uh, Unakite, right there. And there's all the tones of the seed beads to go with it. I mean, it's glorious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so, now, and, um, if I just give you... that um, antique bronze look. It has a really ancient... Oh, today, um, is it? I'm so sorry, Ra um, Rachel. You know, like an, uh, like an artefact yeah. <laughs> um, feel to it. It's like something you'd... Um, Archaeological feel. It's a beautiful piece of jewellery, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep. And that, isn't that fun? So you can see how that gemstone works, and mm. it makes it a really glorious mm -hmm. piece to wear. Um, yeah. And I'm sure there's pair um, designs in there that you can adapt. But you could adapt that to a pair, I'm sure. Exactly. Of course you could. Lovely. Thirty carats. That means each one mm. of those unakites is ten carats each, because mm -hmm. they're all the same size. So if you wanted to do a suite of jewellery with a pair of earrings and a pendant. Mm. You've got mm -hmm. it there. Now, I think you're hanging about trying to check out because you're thinking, oh, I like them. Don't know if I fancy spending 14 dollars Well, we should do, but, you know, we shall give you a saving. We all like a saving, don't we? Oh. Let's be honest. Yeah. And I, just, I think I'm going to get those as well when I get home because I'm going to get, make Your the, tree the frog. frogs. Yeah. I've got a pond frog. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. have. Yeah. I found him. We, oh. we, we've got some patio bricks around the pond. And in the week, He's... the new fella decided to re... Because they'd gone like that. Mm. Because we're... I fell in the pond, you see. Oh, you did it. You did. I fell I in the pond. That, when yes. I... Yes, Just I as did. the old fella moved out, yeah. I decided to mow the grass. I was being it because he would never let me mow my own grass. Five years, was a bit... Anyway. Um, so I thought, mm. oh, I can mow my own grass. Anyway, I went round the corner. I, 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 I didn't oh. mow a foot. Fell back in the pond. Oh, no. And oh. knocked the bricks out with my head. You couldn't mow your It's a good thing you didn't. I did mow my own grass, but I fell in the pond. So... So the lovely new fella decides to relay all the bricks when he picks up the brick. There's a frog. Oh, sweetie, Where did the so brick? You, you now have to conserve that area because there's a frog there. Yes, it's a valuable bit of. I've got a newt as well. <laughs> they're they're protected. Mm, they I've got are, a newt. Yes. No, we've got newts as well. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a little pond. In the summer last year, there was we were the only water for miles around, and we get all these creatures coming at night, wow. coming to drink out of the pond. We kept Aww. we made sure we kept it filled as we could, and but, yeah. And they all came and drank at night, and the dog went mad because it, she, she could hear this, these what creatures dog have you got? coming. It's, she's um, a Cornish bitzer. Oh. A bitzer at this and a bitzer that. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> like a Heinz 57 <laughs> job, yes. Yeah, she's a little bit um, terrier, a little bit cocker, cocker spaniel, then, and oh. Norfolk and Jack Russell and everything. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I love these. Oh, Rachel, you're going to love those. Oh, yes, wow. Mm -hmm. Rainbow. So, I oh. can't stop. I'm addicted. I'm actually addicted to buying these. These Jaspers. Addicted. We've done them in all different mm. shapes and sizes and colours and cabochons and rounds and pairs and big rounds and little rounds. And oh, I'll tell you, we've had them going on. Multicolour mm. mixed Jasper. They... We're down to the last few. Now, I wasn't sure about these, I'll be truthful. I, I, mm. said, I said to our team when they bought them, I said they're either going to love them or they're going to hate them. Oh, you've got to put them with antique bronze because that would space them out and be just make them, bring them up a bit to sophistication. So mm. the antique bronze would then make it a yeah. um, woodwork. So yeah. that's the wire to use with them. Do you know the good news is, throughout the day today, since 8 o'clock this morning, mm. We have had antique bronze wire. Yes, we have. And we've had yes. some right cracking yes. deals, yes. bundle deals exactly. as well, I tell you so, what. Yeah. And it is a lovely, so that's the wire to use because it just... just. I agree. Um, spaces out the, the vibrant colours, mm -hmm. and not tones them down, but it just, just spaces yeah. them out and it exactly. works then. Now, I don't work with wire, so I've been making stretches. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because I've had all those lovely multi... You know, when we do all the elastics in all the different colours? Actually, look, when you do yeah. that, and yeah. you've got the blue tones in there, uh -huh. and it looks lovely, doesn't it? It, it does, doesn't it? It's fun. Yeah, you can wear them all the tie-dyed stuff for the summer, all the vibrant rainbowy colours and things well, like that. Well, it doesn't matter which bikini 
or swimsuit or tankini I pop on. That's going to work. Yeah, it will. No matter oh, what mm. colour flippy floppies. Mm. I'll put on because you get all different colours. That's flippy a real, it's a real summertime daytime wear, isn't it? It's in the summertime. Mm. And we've got to have jewellery as fun. It's not. You have the sophisticated. You have the weddings. You have these others. But then you also you wear that. You wear them to make you smile and make you laugh you and make okay? you happy. Yes, it's meant. That's, you know, that's what they're meant to be. <laughs> so yeah, it's a happy. That's a happy strand. You're a happy strand. <laughs> That's what you are. Rachel Norris is a happy strand. Don't you think? I'd love to wear Rachel. She makes me smile. You do. I know it's not possible. No, I'd be Dougal a bit... you around me neck. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, Rachel, you're right. Oh, sweetie. Can we just, can we just bagsy Rachel on the late oh. show? Oh. You got a fair old drive to back I home, have, haven't well, you? My husband actually decided that I might kill myself on the way home, and he's booked me into a hotel he's on the way. Have so I've, I've, he's booked me into a hotel in. in well, he's a good lad. Taunton. He said I'm not letting you drive all the way back, oh, so what he's a done that. Man. So I'm going to Taunton and then staying over. And then I've got a dentist in the appointment, so in the morning, so I'll go straight to the dentist. I'm telling you my life now, so no, that's, that's what fine. I'm going to do. That's, that's all that's fine. That's going to the dentist tomorrow. <laughs> 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 she, always tell, she always tells me off. That's you know another story. Well, I've got a story for you. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Tom. Did he hasn't knotted the end. Rachel, I'm throwing Drew's. Is that you? Sorry, Rachel. That's the one, that's the one I can nip into my bag later on. Mm. Do you want to know the story about my dentist, Rachel? <laughs> Go on, then. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been paying £15 a month with my dentist. Oh. Fifty, yeah, because I get You've it. Gold yeah. fillings. No, but I mean, <laughs> fifteen pounds a month to, for the one you know where you get two checkups a year and you get oh. two lots of hygienist and all of this. One oh. of them block a plan. Oh, I've not been to see him for two years. He keeps ringing me. What's him saying? Keep paying. You're not get coming. Get your money back. I know. Or um, gold filling. <laughs> I don't want a gold filling. I'm not Jaws. I've dropped a diamond off. in your tooth. <laughs> you know, you can yeah. get them set in there. That was all in the rage, wasn't it, in the nineties and eighties? Diamonds in the teeth. I know. I can't imagine you with one of them, yeah. if I'm truthful. Right, I'll, I'll just... Do, there you go. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Entire knot. That's for the stretcher, you see. That's yeah. what you need. Well, I'm, I'm so, I, people get so sick of me with my stretches. They do. They get sick of me with my stretches. I, I'm sorry, but do you know what? Mm. I love stretches. That's lovely for that fresh, isn't it? This is it. So what you do, you'd have yeah. a stretchy with one and one of these orange. Yeah. And you have an orange one with mm. the one of these blue in it, and it would look just lovely. That's all you'd need. I don't know if I can cope with that, Rachel. <laughs> I'm, I'm a matcher. -er. <laughs> I am. I have to That's line my towels up, Rachel. <laughs> Seriously. <gasps> yeah. I used to have OCD and... Um, how did you get rid I'm of not, it? I'm not... How'd you, how um, did you get rid of it? Some people have OCD Help and it's real OCD. Mine was like just uber tidy OCD. It wasn't like really... But I moved to a really big house and there was no way that I could be that tidy. I just mm. couldn't do it anymore. So I had one tidy room that was really tidy and the rest... <laughs> had to be messy that was that and it cured me because you know? I would wash the floor in the kitchen mm. about eight to ten times a day oh right yeah yeah you see I, I'm, I'm an I, when I say uh, OCD I'm like you um as in mm. super uber tidy yes um, yeah yes yeah not, I'm not a washed hands are all, all repeated no all, not yeah, that yeah, no yeah. And we know that's a really tough thing to, hard. to live with it's um, hard. I mean, but all of us have some degree of mm. of mm. of. And that, it's keeping a handle you know, on, isn't it? it? Yes. It's keeping a handle on. Yeah. It. Do you know what? Right. My, speaking of Mother's Day, mm. do you know what my stems back to? When my mom died, that's when mine Sweetie. started at 28 because mm. I'd lost control and I couldn't. So I had control and it got progressively worse. And I think it, it I, I'd put it right back to when my mom died because mm. I couldn't control that. I couldn't control that loss. We got a bit deep then, didn't we? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> But you love your mum, and she's just, just, I know how much you remember her, and yeah. she's just lovely, and she, you know. Oh. Well, we're not just at 1995. So we've just gone from 995 to £6.48 and £6.47 each. Beautiful Drewsy, gorgeous Drewsy. Um, and I think, like uh, all of us, a bit of inner glitter never hurt anybody, so did it? So we have two planets there. One is... Um, the blue planet. The blue planet. <laughs> And one of the ones, yes, it's Mars. Yeah, could be no, that's Mars. That's Mars. That's Mars. That's no, Mars. What, yeah, that's Mars. And that is um, Uranus. 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 Yes, Uranus. Uranus. Who? Uranus. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Uranus. It's Come a planet. It's a planet. You're allowed to say <laughs> the name of the planet. Uranus. Uranus. Yes. Uranus. Yes. I can't believe Rachel. <laughs> 
Do you know, I think I, I am definitely preferring Rachel Norris on The Late Show. I'm telling you. Um, I think yeah. we should just keep you on the late. Are you crying? Watershed, water, watershed, you see. I only have to hear the word. <laughs> Sorry. Rachel, we can get paid again in the morning. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> oh, Rachel, you haven't got me again on the late show, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, poor my poor producer's trying to keep us in check. He's got no oh, chance. No. <laughs> what, what we got here? I don't, what, I don't know. No. What have we got here, Rachel? <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. No, you see, oh. not, it's, it's very easy to snort. It is, isn't it? So this is lovely. This is really beautiful. This is not a planet. We're not no, going down that route again. No, but this is absolutely glorious because those are the details you are using, again, a lot of designs where mm -hmm. one little stain can yeah. literally shine out and you see the whole, I mean, you know, in the elephant, mm -hmm. you could put those in quite happily you could, within you? the blanket, yeah. yes. And, I mean, gosh, yeah. that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Mm. That lovely elephant. So pop the blue lapis in there. Yep. Are they blue lapis? The yeah. lapis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, beautiful shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. perfect for, for putting in these sort of details. the right size as well, wouldn't it, for the yeah, elephant? Yeah, absolutely perfect. Yeah. Mm. Especially when you're taking that down. To, I mean, that would... In fact, you know, wouldn't that go mm. great with the antique bronze wire? Yes. Really would, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. It would. It is the same size as the amethyst in the kit. Absolutely right, Kerry. Kerry, she said, is that the same size as the amethyst that we mm. had in the kit for the elephant? Yes, no. yes, it would be. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Four ninety-five as well. Four ninety-five. Just do a simple little bracelet if you don't fancy making. I've got so many designs. I use um, that size lapis. Four mil. Yes. I mean. Good for channel setting as well, isn't it? I mean, I always combine it with turquoise or something mm. like that um, because it's just perfect. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I, mean, I, I know I could dig around and, and get some out. What time? But yeah, <laughs> I'm desperate to show things. But yes, that would. That's a stone I use all the time, that's the size. <laughs> okay, right then, my <laughs> lovelies. We I did say we've got lots of variety in this hour for you. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, don't you oh. ever apologise. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself, yes. You've got, fine. are you? <laughs> yes, because I've done all my hard work now. I don't have to. Have you seen this now? The pressure's off. She's like, she's having a field day now. <laughs> and she's having a look. She's like, she's, 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 it's your job now. I can just it have is. a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look at these stones now. I'm, I'm going to tell you a story about snorting in a minute. Oh. I will. I'm just. I will. I'm going to tell you a story because it actually got me taken all expenses paid to Cannes Film Festival. Oh, I'm going to. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a story I need to share with you. I'm going to pop these on first because I'm going to give you huge faceted. Fire light, and then you've got beautiful white opal, big carrot. Well, I tell you what, they mm. are superb, those mm, eye lights. Lovely, again, another, mm. another stretchy side because, again, it, it, it'll fit against the wrist. So, I think yeah. another bracelet stone, uh -huh. um, which is beautiful, yeah, really yeah. incredible. QTXC is the you thought Michael thought I was talking to him then when I said QT, he went, Oh, yeah, yeah. QT is the code, oh, darlings. Okay. You are cute. QTXE15. Now, are we going to do a lowest ever price, Liam? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we've got the Churchill dog now in there. Oh. Okay, this. Would you like us to go and beat half price? So I say, you buy one, you get one free. Would you like us to do that? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, Liam. Mm. If you can, I dare you. Oh, oh, oh he says, oh, I've not been dared yet. <clears throat> Do you want to double dare him, Rachel? Double dare. There you okay. go, double dare. You've had it now. Rachel Norris has double dared you. <laughs> mm. Okay, QTXE 1295. Mm. Okay, do you want me snorting? So, right, right. Down in Leicester Square, and I'm filming a programme oh, called yes. Movie Watch oh, when I'm only yeah. early 20s, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know. I know. <laughs> With Johnny Vaughan. So they take the best four of 120 people on this programme to Cannes Film Festival. Oh. So anyway, mm. I, was, I was reviewing Gosh. a film called Leon, The Pig Farmer. Yes. And at the end, you have to say, I give it a, you know, like on the end of uh, Come Down Me, they go, I give it a big placard with a nine. So I said, Leon the pig farmer, I'll give it a <laughs> nine. <laughs> that got me all expenses paid taken to Cannes Film Festival. Good, you see. I was having cocktail yeah. drinks with like mm. sliced, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm <laughs> telling you, man, I was in, I, I was there. No, I, I, was. I know, gosh. So, just because I, I went, 
Mm. It gets you places. Yeah. So keep it going. Yeah, it keeps, keeps oh. laughing. <laughs> I don't want to go any further that conversation, but... <laughs> go on. No, please do. We're enjoying no. Rachel and I. It's on the late no. show. Go on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, go no. on. Yes, please. Come no. on. No. Pretend you're on the Graham Norton show. Go no. on. Come on. No. Come on. No. Come on. no. Go on, go on, go no. on. No. Go on. No. Go on. <laughs> no. No. Please. No, because no, it's not it's not as good as what you're waiting Please. for. It really it's not good enough to wait for even. No. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll, um, uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> so twelve ninety five on those. Um fantastic. Well done, well done, well done. And Neela's had three of those. Good for you, Anila. Beautiful. How beautiful, aren't mm. they? And again, sure. again, you could make them bracelet, but each one of those would sit and facet into something. So you could, again, on the, I know I'm going back to the elephant, but you can set it in, yeah. to set them easily into yeah. into design. Be lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, sorry. There. Oh, coming down now. Who's asked for what, sorry? Who was it? Anonymous. Anonymous says, could you recap the book? Well, yeah, of course we can. Do that for you. Sorry, Don. Mm, good. So, beading with cabochons. We had this earlier mm. on our very well-known jungle website, $17.99. We've beaten that and gone to $15.95. Now, this is all about beading with cabochons. And this is a beautiful book, uh, really well photographed. I'll show you inside in a minute, projects, with really lovely, good written instructions as well by Jamie. And um, it really is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, so if I just open this up for you and just give you an, an idea of what you've got. If I just pick something random, doesn't really matter what I pick actually. They're all beautifully... Oh, it's not, love but she's done the, the same technique and then showed me three different colourways. So you can think, oh, I don't have it all just... You know, sometimes you get stuck looking at design and you can't think... Get past that, that's that a good I point. I can't do a different colour. And oh. she said, oh, you can, you, but yeah. look, you can do it in all these different colourways. Mm -hmm. And so you could think, well, I can do it any colourway then. And so, you can see there, look, there's all the ingredients, there's all the instructions, there's all the diagrams. I'll give you another example there. Oh and there's all the cabochons coming me. up here every day that um, yes. there'll be something beautiful and Joy make these beautiful oh. cabochons. And these, oh, it's so lovely to know. And she's done these, they look like treasures Don't when she's just. made them. So and ornate. Really, really beautifully yeah. made. Lots of design okay. ideas. I mean, look, you've got Tiger's Eye there. We bring you Tiger's Eye. On the back page, there's Una Kite. We've already bought you Una Kite today. It's a beautiful mm. book. Beautiful. There you go, look. It's all types of cabochons. Mm. There, was a free, there was that freeform coral to um, yeah, Jasper. I mean, yeah. um, you could put, look, you can see that's a fairly freeform design there. So indeed. you can use that to, to, to encase that. Yeah, something that's in a regular book. shape, and it would mm -hmm. look amazing. So RZMD29. Yes, two free forms. So she's done a free form technique there yeah. as well. Wow. Teaching you how to bezel yes. set a cabochon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Mm. Lovely. Oh. I thought that was oh, a. Hair. But it isn't. I think it's, it's the. A, um, it's a yeah. detailly shape. Oh. Oh, sorry. We can just keep looking at that. Couldn't we? It's an amazing book. Amazing. Now, speaking of cabochons, let's bring you some cabochons, shall we? Yeah. Well, this is exactly the sort of thing that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. And again, all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Ooh. Yeah, so I like that one. Look at that one. Shall it's I show beautiful. that one then? Yes, it's lovely. And that's a, the ring. I'd have that in an elongated ring mm. shape. I'll just hold that for a moment because I want the colours on yeah. that. It's absolutely glorious. And it has got this mahogany, um, sorry, um, teak, mm -hmm. teak yep. sort of colours. Um, which are really rich and dark and, and quite different actually to the sort of normal sort of um, exactly. honey colours of the yeah, normal type of the classical, of mine. yeah. But that's, that's so nice actually. It's got that phenomenon that you see, look, with that single line going across and shifting and rippling across the surface of the tiger's eye. I mean, when we say multicolour, um, uh, sorry, multi cabochon shapes here, even if you look in that recording, mm. that's a completely different recording yeah. to what we've got here. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six again, but totally different shapes. But they're, but they're fun, um, mm. and there's something you can make out of each one of them. And uh, yeah. I mean, that's lovely. I mean, because I do a lot of animal shapes, I you just do? pop them in the bodies of different animals and yeah. birds and things. Um, they work really. They work really well. They would, wouldn't they? Yeah. D last nineteen. And this is the reason that they are, there are only 19 left. 
It's a no-brainer. If you've got a £10 note, you can get these. Mm. Actually, that's a good value, isn't it? That's yeah. Six for £10. Yeah, I mean, if you, <coughs> you get... Know. Yeah, if you, mm. if you... What's that? It, hang on, the six... That's a lovely shape. As well, you do, put your double technique and make a... Um, that's lovely. A twin, twin one. I like that. You know. We're talking about £1.66 mm. a, a, a cabochon. Yes, which is good value. I mean, that's... You don't mind about using them or, you know, just go in there and, and pick one and pick your favourite one and make, make a lovely design. <laughs> don't put me off. <laughs> and then uh, that's what we do. So that, there's some lovely, lovely oh, shapes. Oh, Alison, you're on... <laughs> oh, I've done it. I've done it again. Oh, come on. That's another pound now. Minute, you minute you I've got another 45 there, minutes. At the, a, the A word. <laughs> David said, evening, my dear. Zina, help me, David. David here. What a brilliant day today has been. The wonderful Rachel Tarry, followed by the glorious Alison Norris. A <laughs> real kick up so sorry. I'll have to message like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, watching through and can't have any time. <sighs> Where's that mallet? Well, I don't know. Somebody get me with the raw hide. <laughs> Oh, Alex. Oh, oh, that's, that's a song. That's a song in itself. It was called the Rawhide Mallet. It, <laughs> it was a Rawhide Mallet. <laughs> rawhide. Oh, One of those. Oh, somebody oh. There's nothing in my tea. I promise you, there is nothing alcoholic in my tea. No. <laughs> Do you know it's weird. First, first of all, I, I went. I did 45 minutes before I did it. Stopped myself, didn't I? I owed mm. you 50p in the last hour, and I've just done another 45 minutes till I did it again. I, know. So well, I have done I'm well, so haven't well, I? Yeah. You know. <laughs> now then. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Can you give me a break? Starbite. <laughs> Lovely, Rachel is. Do you know how lovely Rachel actually is? Now, anybody, you know, some, you could. Oh, she's going. I'm going to get <laughs> oh, I don't know where she. Oh, well, no, what are you doing? I'm getting my <laughs> Sorry. Look, it doesn't. Look, after everything that's happened today, it really doesn't oh, matter. Oh, oh, it comes. oh right. dear. Mm. I was just about to say in the break, some guesses on was going, wouldn't take this going, so well. Gone. Do you know what she said? That, bear in mind, it's what? not difficult, is it, for me to get her name right? I mean, I've known you how long. She said to me in the break, she went, you were doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> That's a raw high. Raw high, Emma. Right, you can have a little goosey oh, at those. Lovely. Because we're going to give both. Oh, lovely. Okay? That's so, that's so I don't hold the hammer, isn't it? So. Yeah, I'm not tough. <laughs> there you go. We've got green and yellow. Whoops, a daisy. We have. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aren't they amazing? <laughs> Look, you've got the camera. You've got all the camera there. <laughs> there you go. Look, there, you go. there we go. <laughs> That's lovely. Yours is, yours is lovely too. But mine's nicer. Oh, you think you're... Oh, all right. Oh, Rachel thinks hers are nicer. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, my life. OZXE is... Uh, now, this is a bundle deal, by the way. <laughs> it is. It's lovely. And it's, what a good bundle deal it is. <laughs> it's, it's really lovely. Don't you make me so like Mutley? <laughs> I have a Mutley laugh. Do you know, next time Chloe, mm. the manager, says, and I say, would you like me mm. to do a double? She'll go, no, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Now, I'm, I'm hogging the camera That's for the moment, but we're going to let Rachel, <laughs> Rachel Tarry. <laughs> there you go. Now, you, you, you're mm. on camera now. That's it. You've got it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> Should we put them together? That's love. That's beautiful. Bit of lemon and lime. That one's really beautiful. Oh, all the things we could do with these. And, and um, I'd set them into beautiful creatures, mermaids and unicorns. They'd and, look beautiful, wouldn't yeah, they? Lovely. Now, we should be 9 95 a strand, Rachel. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Now then, Liam, come on. We need to. We need to bring this. We need to. You know, bring some decorum. I feel to the night show. <laughs> Is that Rachel Tarry? She's trouble. She's trouble. <laughs> I know, Rachel sure. Norris is really well behaved, yeah. Alison Tarry, she's yeah. really good, but oh. you know, you get that. You put, you put the two of you no. together. Dreadful. Mm. £6.48 for my strand, £6.47 for Rachel Strand. <gasps> now then, Look at that. isn't that lovely? Mm. I love those. Mm. And great, that, as you say, that they're drilled at the top, so they're actually really easy to Perfect, set if you're not a, a no. fabulous wire worker um, like you. Yeah, you can just put a bead through yeah. and... To, and um, you got maybe a lovely one of Hannah Osborne's or Mark's um, sea bead ropes, yeah. and then yeah. you've got this at the centre mm. coming down as the drop. Yeah. You know, wonderful. I like that. You're modelling it beautifully, by the way, <laughs> Rachel. Didn't she? You? You're at a funny angle, but I'm going to try and I'm relieve sorry, you. I but... know it'll fall off if I do anything. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. See, it's all gone. So no, but you were doing a beautiful job. I know. There we are. I'll give it back oh, now. Thank you. Oh. No, I didn't show those. I just thought you looked as though you were in a very uncomfortable position. I'm not having no, it. Looks beautiful. Thank you. There. And are they silver? Are they um, silver spaces? Because they silver spaces. Like... We'll give those away as well. You know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There's nice little spaces and things, but. Yeah. That's both strands, by the way. Both strands. Um. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, David, <laughs> David's got those. Good. My oh, dear friend, you. David. Thank you for being so kind, David. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's going great, show. Oh, dear. But there's been some fantastic prong setting techniques. Um, yeah. And in fact, actually, the technique used on that necklace there, um, which deals with a deeper set gemstone, is absolutely perfect. So I don't know whether we're allowed to have a look yeah, at the back on, of it. Yeah, go on, yeah, go on, carry so on, lovely see, girl. It's again top drilled, I'll have a cup of tea. and what she's done is made these lovely Vs and then mm. woven at the back, and each one of these then becomes a prong. And you can do that the same with That's this. That's a great way to set so, the camera on. Um, so you, you just do the same with one of these, set it upside down, and then do the same technique, and that, that makes it really easy. Yeah, and she's just done a lovely. So that's been a, the top one is a lovely attachment. Then for the whatever cord or chain you use, Clever, isn't it? But you can see how nice it is. You just um, lots of little bees of wire woven together, and bring it round to become the prongs set over the over the, the front of this. Yeah. So that's an easy way of setting this deeper set of gemstones. So there you have it. Luckily, she's made this perfect Very piece of jewelry to demonstrate. Yes, that's one you need to need to have an example of in the studio. It helps, yeah, doesn't it? It does, totally actually. Agree. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, my word. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> oh, you're not going to miss them, are you? So, um, Gemma Crow had this a DVD on yesterday. Mm -hmm. and I, oh, and they're wrapping the cabochon yes, bangles. Yes, one of these would fit, maybe fit quite nicely into there, uh -huh. wouldn't it? And, you, yeah. and she's got the... Um, she'd do the diamond shape which would fit again round this cabochon and there you could use that in her and to make some of her bangles and you ha how many more how many of these have you got they are uh, each one of these is a bracelet that you can make Massive. so it's they're beautiful they really are aren't they mm. and i love it. the mukite is a really special gemstone now if you had one of these as a mukite bracelet look i mean look at that there i, know. Well, that's I mean like that's a, about as an aboriginal yeah. as it gets isn't yeah, it's it like the hand you know the hand yeah. painting they did the hands yeah. and they um those paintings are hundreds, wow. about hundreds of thousands of years of old. old oh, and, yeah. And uh, that's uh, a little bit of artwork there. Absolutely. Now, if you sold one of these mookites in a bracelet, I know you don't. I don't, yes, but I don't. OK, but, what would you oh, expect to pay gosh. for one? What do we think? Because we've, obviously we've had them incredible, incredible. I don't know if there's any of the well, mandrels left. I think you'd want to sell it, um, you know, for about 75, 70 pounds, 50 pounds. Do you think? Well, depending on what yeah. you would set, okay. put it in uh -huh. and what metal you set it in. So 45, 40 to 45 pounds for a copper and then you go up to okay. how much, right, doubling it yeah, at yeah, least yeah, for the silver. Yeah, the silver wire and the, yeah, yes, the flex like, right wire yes, on the show this morning. So, yeah, so, mm. and then you've got this, this, this mm. easy shape of cabochon. It's got Beautiful. reflection and because of this tapered surface, you can attach the prongs to it nice and easily. Yeah. So the prong setting will be lovely and easy on, yeah. that, on that. So actually, we're going to take another £10 off that price for you. 
So that is going to take those down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. £2.22 for a natural Australian mookite. That's effectively slab. a cabochon. It's a slab, but it's also a cabochon. So yeah. that's with a really good. Yes, yeah, so with the so drill hole stability. Yeah. I mean, gosh, it's wow. like, you could, can you imagine doing crazy paving like that outside your drive? Yeah. Well, you can run a class and each one of your class would have a mookite to work with and mm -hmm. you've got a standard yeah. shape. And we can, yeah. They have got to be the biggest mookite we do here at Jewelry Maker, haven't they? Would pretty you agree? Much, pretty much, yeah, actually. I think yeah. so. Six, look at that in, on one strand. 650 carats. And have you seen the little um, bicones in between as well? Get those as well. I love the way we're starting to be quite creative that's, in our stranding. That's rather nice, actually. It is, isn't it? Yes, and also, it, we don't want too much plastic in, in our lives. So having um, a natural gemstone in mm -hmm. there that you can use is less mm -hmm. sort of wasteful. Um, it doesn't cost much to add a bit of quartz in there, exactly. does it really? No, of course not. So that might be quite nice, mm -hmm. and you could use them. Mm -hmm. Uh, well done to Rose, <clears throat> excuse me, well done to Jacqueline. Now we've just had to bear in mind, we've got Joan, we've got Liz, we've got collectors, we've got some new customers just come in. Uh, I've just got to reiterate this, a couple of things. Right, firstly, if it's your first order with us, we also yeah. not only send you your order, right, today, any day at the moment, we send you two free strands of genuine gemstones. Also, also, actually, today, if you spend with us today, buy anything, now, this morning on the morning mm. show, in the breakfast club out, we did things for a pound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but mm. if you buy with us today, we will... No minimum spend. If we, if you, even if you bought that one pound deal this morning, we will send you a flyer out with your order. And that order has got a dedicated discount code. You can redeem with that discount code any time up until... And including the 18th of April. And there's £10 off £40. That's what the code gives you. £10 off a £40 spend. Yes, which is really good actually, and then you could, you treat don't feel yourself. so bad about, no. well not bad, bad is the wrong word, you don't feel... Well sometimes we're not good at treating about, ourselves, are yeah, we? Yeah, it's about thinking, oh I can have that, yeah. and I can, I can work yeah. with it, and yeah. Exactly, so. well done to Sheila, oh I love that Avis is coming from, that was my mum's name. Oh. Avis's oh. name, is it Bird? Is it French for Bird? No. It's a rent a car, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but Abby, uh, um, I still always think with my mum. I'm trying to think what it's, it is. Is it a bird? Like, well, I don't know. It's like a flight or... I'm trying to think what... Someone needs to look it up, but Avis... Avis! I just okay. always think of rent a car when I go abroad. I always go, hello, mum, when I see the car. <laughs> I do. Avis in Kent. I'm so glad you... Do you know what your name means, Avis? Is that the word flight or wing or something like that? I don't, I'm trying to think what it would be or a bird. Mm. Um, yeah, bird. Yeah, yeah, bird. It's, it's, yeah. Latin bird yeah. it's Latin for bird. It's Latin for bird. You know I mean, your stuff, yeah. you. I did Latin actually at school. Did you? Yes. So I'll wait, my just uh... <laughs> She did Latin at school. Yep. I can still decline. <laughs> Avis in Kent. If you didn't know, your name is Latin. Latin for bird. Mm. My name means mm. who is like God. Oh. No, he doesn't like us. <laughs> it does. No, he doesn't like us. Yes, no, he really doesn't. Yeah. Archangel He's Michael? a saint, isn't yeah. it? An archangel, yes. Yes. Oh, mine means lamb. Well, you do not. <laughs> Tenuous link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, we have a donut in a um, lovely rhodonite. Rhodonite? Yep. Yeah. That's a treat, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is a really nice, um, rarely seen, but it's beautiful, and it's such a beautiful stone. I mean, it's like um, raspberry custard, isn't it? With um, oh, don't. I've not eaten what, <laughs> since since what two o'clock today. And you just talked about raspberry and custard. And raspberry, like a mousse. It's beautiful sh shapes and um, colour from rhodonite. It's got a strong pink, mm. like a salmon, deep salmon pink, like a um, sorbet. Yeah, but yes, it has to. Yes. Mm. And it's a lovely strong colour, so mm. it's not like a baby pink, it's a deep salmon pink, it which is... makes it a much more earthy tone, and mm -hmm. if you're putting it together with other earthy tones, it works really well. Like a salmon mousse? Yes. Do you like a salmon mousse? Um, I prefer a strawberry or chocolate mousse. I mean. <laughs> Just I mean. saying. I'm the same. <laughs> 595 that's, I'm, I'm sorry to say that with such a tone of surprise in my voice, but 5 95 for a 90 carat gemstone shaped into the shape of a ring donut. I mean, really? 
Do you know yeah, when I had to be so careful to not to, to not to fracture when mm -hmm. doing that process? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of yeah. Do you imagine doing that little bit here? But yeah. yeah. For it not to fracture you, through. When I go to this shop where I get my donuts from, a tray of donuts is more expensive than that. <laughs> oh, it yeah, is. It is. Yes. So the, the posh ones, you know, the ones that are quite crispy, those ones, you know. But a tray of those from the shop I go to, Gosh. and it's discounted, they're mm. more expensive than that. Mm. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, it's so easy to put it. Um, did you see um, Katie's? this afternoon. Katie Parker. Yes. Now she's lovely and she's lovely, intricate, beautifully made um, pieces mm -hmm. and she did I think some donut designs. Mm -hmm. So um, again you bought, go back and watch yes, that. Yes, and have a look and use them and make make that piece did, up. Did you see a little boy? No. Oh, oh um, so was that lovely. little boy in yeah, there? Oh. And he's only five. Oh, is it sweet, Oliver? Is so is well it Oliver? behaved, yes. Oliver is so lovely. Unlike mine. Oh, <laughs> not well behaved. So... Oh, it's lovely. Oh my gosh. I wondered I I wanted who it was because you don't see children mm. here mm. very often. No, it's oh, Katie's lovely. little boy. Such Aww. a lovely little boy. Mm. Um, well, it's yeah. Mother's Day, of course, you see. Exactly, so. yeah, mm. she wants to stay with his mum, didn't she? Oh. <laughs> So yes, let's have a look at Katie's designs and um, use them to make some beautiful things up. Oh, hello. Um, I've got single mm. figures on this one. Mm. Gosh. I know, gosh. There's a lot. There's actually more than you normally get in one of these. Normally you get them um, about this and they're kind of yep. graduated. Yep. So you're getting double, mm -hmm. really, aren't you? So you Seven... can make two. Yeah. That. 770 carats in one yes. go. Yeah, that's two necklaces worth, isn't it? So you just have to take yeah. them out and then yeah. re-graduate them. Absolutely. But oh, that around your neckline... Shall I show? It's, it's a lot. So it's a lot for one... You could... I need a bigger neck. You literally could. Yeah. You know, but you could so easily just then divide it into um, two and you've got two necklaces out of that. Or... Or... Lots of, bar lots of singles, mm -hmm. yes. Mm. Just, you know... Yeah. Couldn't you? I mean, I'm going to count them. I am, because we're going to twelve ninety five, which is just shocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, <gasps> nineteen, twenty. We could go three 20. if you put spacer beads in, you know, between them, and there's ways of making them go further. I think it almost like you'd want to join the pattern up in it with your eyes. <laughs> Do you know what he's there? <laughs> um, How are you joking? Oh, thirty. Forty five. Wow. Forty-five. Do you want to do? Yes. Twenty-nine p a bar. Mm, that's good. Twenty-nine p per bar. There's anything. I know that Gemma Crow would be ace at making something amazing oh, out yeah. of this, and um, yeah, I can imagine her doing popping things with copper and doing amazing oh, yeah. things. But again, those are antique bronze. Remember her owl wing? Oh, you know, her owl, her owl, and that'd be a really amazing bird. Um, with the wings coming out. We've got, an owl, we've got an owl outside Jewelry Maker. Oh, really? Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? When you come off the night mm. show Makes later, when you go in the car park, you'll hear it. Yeah. No, you <laughs> will. <laughs> you'll be serious. There you was will. Two, a story that my husband read of two, two, uh, a guy that used to go out and call this to this owl. And uh, he used to call this owl, you know, because he used to it mimic the owl. And this owl called back to him every night. Oh. And it was lovely, lovely. And then, then um, he had a chat with this one of his neighbours. And his neighbour used to call this owl every night. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just them two doing it. He's on the people's head. He's got the ducks in the weeds. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> We've decided we're keeping, we're keeping Rachel Norris on the uh, Late Show from now on, Tom. She's hilarious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, these are amazing, aren't they? Pink tigers. Fuchsia. fuchsia. Yeah, pink tiger's eye awesome. fuchsia. Mm. Now, you really could make fuchsia designs out of that. So, mm. just like the fuchsias I made here, yeah. um, I'd set the four pet petals. Do you want to bring that over and show us? Can we just, just show put, you this look? Put this inside. So you have the say. So then you can put that um, that end down Oops, and be the, insi the inside of the flower, the fuchsia, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. 
Is it pink on the outside and purple on the inside? Anyway, something like pink that. Pink on the outside, purple on the inside. So you have the petals Fusion. and then you, yeah, find some purple amethyst or something to go on the inside. Well, if you've you got, got your kit. Yeah. If you've got your kit. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so you've got the fuchsia colour. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. That's really pretty. Oh. So, yes, those would make some lovely flowers. They would, wouldn't they? Pretty pretty. Tiny, I mean, I've made tiny little insect creature things with, mm -hmm. with ge gemstones that small. You just yeah. have to set it in point eight. Okay. Um, We've had loads of yeah, wire in so point, point today. eight today. Yeah. make, but um, that's fine setting to get it, so it wouldn't obliterate what you've mm -hmm. got. So you can go down to that and make tiny. And people love tiny. Some like Deb, Deb Briggs, um, her wonderful jewellery. She sets very little gemstones in mm -hmm. um, in bezel setting, yeah. and those would be lovely for tiny That'd little rings. Those sort of there. spinner rings that um, yeah. Deb would make. Yeah. Um, they would go quite nicely. Blue, in there. They? Yeah. Yeah. Eight ninety five. Okay. Now then. I just must check with my producer. Are there any, for Rachel, because Rachel wants the, the bracelet and oval and round bank, uh, mandrels. I just want to see if there's any left for you. Oh. I don't want to yeah. say, you know, because she, she needs well, to know. I've got my computer, so I'll, um, okay. You know, at the end. Oh. No. Excuse me. Got to get this one because I've got it. Right, I've got nine left of the oval. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know there was time for me to do some banging with the old mallet. It's time for me oh, to do some banging, banging with the mallet. The mallet. You're going to be banging in it with your raw hide. <laughs> <Bit of shaping. laughs> but you see how, how beautifully that shush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Look. <laughs> How beautifully that shapes. Go on, whack it with your raw hide. Oh, Come on, she's, she's been waiting all round. evening. And Pretend I, it's I me. It, get it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> then I've got a spoon, and you could you could, you could um, shape the spoon on the outside as well. I mean, it's just amazing. It's brilliant. Yeah, they're brilliant. So. We don't charge you anymore. Now I've got to mention this again. It comes in a packet like that, and it'll have an oily residue all over it, it won't will. it? Because it, it protects it from will. rusting mm. in the storage. So don't go. Just get yourself a little paper towel, tissue, baby wipe. Mm. Wipe the excess. It's like what we see. And then dry with the towel. And it's quite, I mean, and it just, it just makes sense. Yeah. Um, if it's you to want to store it. them for a while, not use them, keep them in a fairly dry atmosphere. Sometimes you can have silica, um, those silica things. Those little packets. Yeah, those, and you can put them in, and you can keep your metal tools nice and sort yeah. of fairly dry. Because the thing is, when you buy a frying pan, they get you to seal it with oil, don't mm. they? They get you to heat it up, seal it, and they mm. say, if you're going to leave your wok or your frying pan in your drawer, just reseal it with some oil. That's mm. all it is. So please, 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 at the weight of these, obviously, we don't charge you any more. We're covering the cost, okay? Just to mention as well, now, the it does say that the round is 19 95 and it says that the oval is 24 95 They're both 19 95 but the system wouldn't let us do it on the oval one, but they're both... Mm. 1995. Mm. Can you can you put that down now? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Dave. So that that sh there are seven of the oval <laughs> mandrels, brand new. Rachel, when she gets them home, in the meantime, is going to put a daffodil in the top. <laughs> That's what she said. They're really snazzy vases. They are. You could put a candle in there as well, couldn't you, to be you honest? Right then, um, now also there's a roundy one. <laughs> now, <laughs> a roundy one? Roundy, roundy one. That's I, randy. I heard, I heard randy. What is well. wrong with you? Rachel, I, I heard randy as well. So you're not oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not, it's round. The round one. <laughs> 19, no, welcome to the uh, Late Show, Rachel Norris, <laughs> aka Alison. <laughs> uh, metal bracelet mandrel, 15 inch, it is a solid piece of kit. I may say, me. And the thing is, no. we don't ask you for any more post and back. It's just shocking, that's what I need to say. Oil residue, oil residue, oil residue, just wipe it off, okay? Because it's to protect it, stop it rusting in storage. But piece they're really kit. useful. And uh, if you're serious about making jewellery and making bangles beautifully and yep. hammering the bangles, um, that's, that's the kit you need, really. But ideally, you said over for the cuff, round for a bangle. Yes. yes. Round for a bangle, over for a cuff. Yes. That's too confusing. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. 
and you don't have you can set them into a, um, a desk vice or you can just hold them to your to knees and work with them or on the bench and work with Solid them. Solid piece of kit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you, I've got to ask, because mm. it's the first time you've ever been on The Late Show, <laughs> have you enjoyed I yourself? Have, I have, I um, have, bizarrely. <laughs> 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 to take that, no, to do you know honest. what? I haven't worked with you for ages and ages and ages and ages. Um, it's been just lovely. Really Carol. <laughs> please call me by another presenter's name just once, please. It'll make me feel so much better. Vicky, Elle, uh, Becky. I don't, Hannah. Oh, Lucy, I don't like Lucy. Lucy. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> That's all right then. I feel slightly better. <laughs> I would like to publicly apologise to Rachel for calling her Alison about 73 times on the show. This, in my defence, I was up at four this morning technically, know, and I've been on for five hours with it Alison. Is, so in my head, I'm on with Alison. We've lost the hour, haven't we? Yeah, yes, it's, so we blame that hour. Yes, we blame um, that hour. <laughs> blame that hour. It's not, yeah. it's not my fault. No, Alison. It's fine. <laughs> I'll be paying her later. Don't worry. She's made extra cash out of it. She won't be complaining. <laughs> I promised I'd pay her a pound every time. The jar is like <laughs> full here. She's got no more money for car parts. Oh, don't forget that, will you? No, that's okay. There you yeah. go, lovely girl. <laughs> thank you. Right then, um, I'd like to thank publicly... <laughs> Rachel Norris. Thank you. Rachel Thank Norris. You. When are you gracing us with your presence um, again? Sometime, Probably not on the late show. I'm, I'm going to take April off to, to write and, okay. and there's a DVD I need to do. Okay. And it's sometime in May and it's um, New Medium, which Ooh, is a, really a mystery thing. So I'm, I'm quite nervous. Brilliant. I'm also excited because I'll be, it'll be New Medium. That'd so I don't know what they're going to give me. Great. Lovely. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fair. Happy Mothering Sunday to all of, to everybody, past and present mums, mums to be, mums that were, mums that could be, fur baby mummies, you name it, we've got it going on today. So, happy Mothering Sunday. Thank you, Late Show crew. Tom, have a great holiday in New York, my friend. Have a great time. Uh, do take care. I'll be back with you on The Late Show tomorrow.